Welcome once again to the Ford Compatible Podcast. This is episode 15 for May 20th, 2012. My name's Tony, and I'm joined, as always, by my fellow podcasters, Mark and Joe. Hooray! <laughs> You're an idiot still. No uh, wisdom teeth. <laughs> yeah, I lost those. Uh, today we have a returning special guest for all of your listening pleasures. So without further delay, please welcome back to the show, Shannon. Yeah, go me. Yay! Uh, Shannon, uh, I know you were on a few weeks ago. If you want, feel free to reintroduce yourself. If not, you know, we can just hop into the round table. Whatever you want. Uh, yeah, um, Gamertag's Crimson Devil 82, which is on everything and everything for Everything. Even the everything. Battle Nets. The Even the Battle Nets. Nets. Um... I don't have a system of choice. I like video games too much. Yes, yes. Uh, All right. Um, Now, uh, before we hop into our roundtable, I just want to let everybody know that uh, it is the it is three weeks before E three, so we're beginning today with our extended Sony coverage uh, preview of what's going to be going on, I guess, at E three. So, huh? Smexy. So sexy and something else mixed together. Yeah, we make up words. What the fuck? (laughs) <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, this uh, we're going to go through our normal news and rumors, but we're going to spend an extended segment speaking on behalf of the Sony PlayStation. Um, all right, so if you guys want to hop into our weekly roundtable, catch everybody up on what we've been playing since last time we all spoke. Okay. Um, well, I picked up Borderlands, the Game of the Year edition on Yay! 360. So I'm using all my hacked guns to one-shot everything and finally get to the max level. I'll power level you tonight if you need it. Okay. Me too. I really don't need power leveling when my game hasn't scaled up. Like, I'm versing level, like, 10s and I'm in my 30s because, the, the, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, my most played game this week would be the Saints Row the Third because it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. And awesomely fun, and I'm really looking for Enter the Dominatrix. Soon, the big well, September, yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, stuff. Us three did Company Heroes until I crashed out and you left, and Joe was by himself, and then got raped or something. Yeah, good no, old. I actually won that. Good oh, old, good old I thought PC you actually one. just kind of quit eventually. Um, we did do the Call of Duty World at Wars um, for a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. we did do that this we week. Taxi. Yep. Um, this is the first week in a long time I did not do trials. It's that day, I know. Um, I did the Hitman Sniper Challenge. It was alright for about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. And then uh, the Diablo 3, because I eventually did get it, and the monk is awesome. Sweet. Oh, my turn. Um, <laughs> played a little bit of Halo Reach, um, Finding of Isaac on Joseph's computer while waiting for Diablo to be released. Uh, Portal 2, um, Trials Evolution, because this guy, uh, and that would be Mark, would not stop talking about it. <laughs> And, he uh, just won't shut up. Oh no, it's just so much trials. <laughs> and That's of course, arcade game. Um, Diablo three. And yeah, what Mark said, the monk is just. Mm, it's so good. Sweet. Just punch everything to death. What'd you do, Joseph? So pre Tuesday was Borderlands, Nazi Zombies, Binding of Isaac, Glover. Yeah. And sixty four Glover. Yeah. 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 Love smacking the shit out of shit. Yeah. And then uh, shit shit. Shit. Tuesday and onward, Diablo three. Excellent. Have not played anything else. Um, yeah, I guess they reminded me that we did do a little Borderlands and a little uh, World at War earlier in the week. A little and Nazi Company Heroes. I, I forgot. Oh, and Company Heroes. Yeah, yeah. that was this week Once as we well. fixed your um, joining thing yeah. problem. And then um, uh, from Tuesday through Thursday, I played this sweet game called Error 37. And uh, <laughs> I like that Diablo. game. It's awesome, right? It was really, really was fun. Really but uh, unfortunately, they got rid of it uh, by Thursday, and from Friday onward, I played Diablo three. That was good. I like so, how you did that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm a sneaky bastard. Right? Yeah. I snuck that in there, a little jab at them. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's cool. That's all right, man. We waited what twelve years. What was they, they got all you the can bugs. Wait two more days. Yeah, they got all the bugs kicked out right away. People are com- making way too big of a deal about it. I'm used to it. I'm or not used to it. I'm just like I expected it because no PC games ever run. Smooth out of you the box. You rage at PC yeah. games. They never work good out of the box. They're, never. Ever, lizards, ever, ever, ever. Lizards never. always good with their never. shit, though. They always fix well, their why, stuff. Why, why make it half... Why do you have to be connected? It's a single-player game. It's piracy issues. Yeah. In order to prevent Blame people from pirat- Fuck you, China. pirating, they can... Um, yeah, yeah, I know. Shut up. Through what are you doing, Joe? I seriously... I just muted my speakers, and it's still going. How fucking awesome is that? So Joe's computer's going a little buck wild. Yep. Joe, Joe's totally into this podcast right now. He's got YouTube oh. open. I, I was going to post a hilarious Diablo video on the Facebook page. You should. And, that uh, video was hilarious. Okay. 
Uh, yeah. Well, Joe, I guess it's all. Yep. Do you have anything else you played? There we go. Well, it's, Joe, it's your turn for what you played. He, already, he went. He went. I already went. He went after Never mind. mind. It's, 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 it's time for, for Mark's news. Yeah, dick. Yeah. Sexy story. Oh, okay. Go. For some reason, I oh, thought yeah. we skipped him and went right to Tony. Anywho, uh, short news for this week. Uh, Thank God. Yeah, yeah. From six pages down to not even two. Anywho, um, Deep Silver, the company who made Dead Island, denied its rumor that they were working with Spec Ops the Line developer to make a sequel. Um, I did read up a little bit more on it. Basically, the only thing they've actually done with um, Dead Island 2 is take out the trademark Dead World. Um, they've done absolutely nothing else on it from an IGN interview this week. So, yeah, this, it. Could, this could be really cool. Um, I enjoyed the first one. Uh, I know everybody else had fun with it for about a week, and then they all got sick of it, right? I went back and finished it like a week or two ago, yeah. so... Uh, I'm still halfway through. It, it's a good game. Uh, you know, I hope uh, I hope the second one comes out. They fix a couple little weird things that were wrong with the first one, but it could be an interesting game. Sweet. Yeah. Fucking A. Yeah. Um, let's see. Next up, we have this one. I had a, tr- a lot of trouble actually understanding this story, but basically uh, Ubisoft... Drop the trademark for Brothers in Arms Furious 4. So what that means is either the game is cancelled because they don't have the trademark for it, or they have to change their name. I did try and to the best of my ability try and figure out what the hell it meant. Um, basically the United States Patent, o- Patent and Trademark Office rejected the original trademark, and that left Gearbox with either abandoning or continuing what the, this is what they end up doing is they're continuing administrative confusion. Don't really get what the hell that means on the matter. Um, so basically, they have to refile when it becomes necessary for them. It's it sounded very complicated, and I tried to. It sounds comments. it sounds to me like a naming issue, not like they're canceling the game. Yeah, they've been working on that they for haven't a while, actually, though. Yeah, they actually haven't posted anything since E3 last year. That's the uh, big thing with it, for the most part. Hmm. I think it was supposed to be out this February, too. Or last February. Yeah. Originally, yeah. There's a lot of crap that's yeah. yeah. to push yeah. back. I know they've been under, like, a lot of shit ever since they attached the Brothers in Arms names to a game unrelated to the series. Um, so maybe they will drop that because their forums are have been a flame fest ever since. Yeah. Um, but so right now it's not going to be releasing this year, I believe, just because they have to refile for a trademark. Sucks for them. Super. All right. Thus, continuing story from last week. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD will feature Tony Hawk Pro Skater three levels, but they will be DLC. So you can expect like. The cool levels from the third one, which is my favorite one. I think it was the third one. Yeah, third one. So you got, like, uh, I believe that's where the high school's at. You have that uh, warehouse level. Uh, those two are the ones I know were confirmed. So Wait, When's this game coming out? Uh, I think I said last week it was, like, June. It's going to be a digital so it's like release. Three, it's, like, three months yeah. away? Yeah. It's good that a game that th- it's three months away already has uh, parts being withheld for DLC. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, it's good that it's good that they know that now because I wouldn't want them to like you know confuse themselves and yeah. you know, not decide till later. Yeah, that's good. Well, it is Activision. <laughs> yeah, and they do that. So it would be fifteen dollars for the game, and probably um, well, with the new pricing, I think they can make it all the way up to ten dollars. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, for the maps, it'll there's probably virtu- end up being there's virtually no five dollar but... DLC anymore. I remember when five was regular DLC mm-hmm. and ten was like the whoa. Yeah, well, for it's an arcade game, DLC. so they're under different rules. Yeah. But I think because they redid the thing, I think it could be up to eight hundred. It's either that or it's still at four hundred. I can't remember if they actually changed that. Even right if on. they do that, that's the game is fifteen bucks. If they release the map packs or whatever you want to call them for ten bucks a pop, that's they better give me all of the levels then. Don't just give me greatest hits then. If you're making me pay almost the same amount as the game itself, I want everything. Yeah, right? Well, I'm still interested to see if they're actually going to do, like, how they used to do, like, the story mode, or is it just going to be kind of like what they did with, like, NFL Blitz, where it's like, here, here's all the levels, and you can go play online, or we'll give you this really crummy single-player, like, play-everything team. Right now, Tony and Joe are having a push your laptop <laughs> open farther to see, knock. See, the funny thing is, more. I could like shut his laptop and I'll go into sleep mode, and he won't be back up for like another three hours. <laughs> his computer yeah. does suck. <laughs> okay, EA announced Battlefield Three Premium Service will be coming out June fourth. Uh, basically, if you do it, 
You, you will get a special knife, a black dog tag, and some camo for your guns and yourself. Is this like uh, is this like their version of Elite now? Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. um, I know they had the, they they launched something initially, but it was free. And now this one's gonna yeah, be yeah. They paid have for, uh, right? it was called VIP before. Yeah, um, now this one's paid which for. Which basically it. Yeah. yeah, which basically got you the first like one or two. I know with Battlefield Bad Company, I believe VIP got you like all the DLC up until like give you all the nine months shit, yeah. afterwards where you like the first paid one actually came out. But yeah. The only one it didn't include I think was Vietnam for Bad Company too. Yeah, that's the so, one I was talking about, yeah. Yeah. So Anyway. Alright, uh Sons of Anarchy fans, I'm talking to you, Eric Yingling. Uh you're getting a game on consoles. Um it'll probably be twenty thirteen sometime. I love this show. I love but the show this too. It's gonna be a terrible video game. Yes yep. it will. Um, God awful. From what uh, early rumor was, it sounded like it would be uh, GTA Lost in the Damned for Sons of Anarchy. If you played that um, episode, like, they didn't even call it like the content, but, but yeah, yeah like, the episode from Grand Theft Auto. You know, like run to Ireland and chase down your stolen son. Yeah, you know. Stupid video game. Yeah, so more TV to video game stuff. Yay. It didn't work in the past, it still doesn't work now. We clearly need more of it. Oh, yes. We need I'm, everything. I'm still waiting for the full house game. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I will pre the hell out of that. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> All right. Um, this is a story from about ten minutes ago. Well, when you actually listen to it, it'll probably be hours and hours ago. But anyway, uh, Madden 13 will feature T-Bowing. Anybody who cares, raise your hand. Nobody raise their hand. Look at all of the fucks that I give. Yeah. So, anyhow, it one of the fun. like taunts you can do when you score a touchdown will be T-Bowing. Like, but they I took out all religious um, moves and crosses and whatever the hell. And yeah, there you go. So it'll be like being Tebow without being religious. That's dumb. That is really dumb. Yeah. I thought this Tebow mania stopped when he went against a good quarterback and Tom Brady and just got his ass pushed in. Oh, he used to look yeah. pretty good. And then everybody's like, oh, wow, Tebow's not that big of a deal. And then Denver got rid of him. <laughs> yeah, he's on the Jets right now. Yeah, because they picked up yeah. Manning. Yeah, now they have two terrible and then, quarterbacks that are overrated in uh, Mark Sanchez and now Tim Tebow. So yeah, good the Jets, them. the Jets have been a quarterback away from a good team for five seasons now. They oh just yeah, can't get a quarterback. He also kind of did a slap in the face uh, today, uh, this week. Um, for pre-ordering at certain places, you're going to get the I don't know the name, but the uh, Colts new quarterback. You're going to get him in the game for pre-ordering, and he's going to have a 99 rating. <laughs> for ultimate team. You're going to get his ultimate team card and he's ready at 99. What? This kid that nobody has an idea about. Nope. Lovely. That's fucking yeah, bullshit. EA announced that that's what they're doing and just a slap in Manning and all this stuff. He's not a 99 rating at all. Manning is the you know, greatest quarterback out there right now uh, when he's healthy, of course. But anyway. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Because you can see how shitty of a team he that team actually was. Yeah, they went game. from playoffs for the last ten <laughs> years like in a row to wins. we can't yeah. win a game. Fourteen or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, they anyway, sucked this year. You probably don't hear about sports, so we're gonna keep moving on. <laughs> South Park, the stick of truth, or the dick of truth. <laughs> I can't, I can't wait. Um, his jokes is delayed until 2013. So uh, I know, like at GameStop, it was on street date for December 31st for since it came out. So I mean, there was no chance it was really coming out this year anyway. Nope, no big deal. Um, also, this is more THQ news. Uh, they're looking to deal out uh, for the sake of fucking up names. This is really bad. I'm gonna be really bad. This one, um, Tomuno Timonobu Gadi's uh, Devil's Third Game. Uh, they're looking to deal that out um, because they need money and might as well. I don't know if you were looking at THQ. I think it's back in I, it was 2009 and 10, 11. I know they basically they were just buying up anything they thought was cool uh, to make into a game. And now that they're you know having some, they had like a 250 million dollar drop off in profits. They're uh, looking to deal out some of their. Uh, Pre, well, yeah, for some future games. At the time, they had all that draw you money. They were just fucking buying up uh, IPs left and right. They're like, now they're smarter at least. Yeah, I really think THQ will somehow survive this. I mean, they know Saints Dark, Row is their best lot, selling series right, right, right now. Darksiders too. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. If that game sells well, they'll be all right. Yeah. Well, I mean, they have that. They have that in August, and then they have Saints Row in September. Yeah. Uh, so you got those two. Darksiders hopefully will do well. Saints Row is going to sell, and they have Company Heroes, which is going to sell a shit ton as well. So I mean, they have really good titles coming out. So I, THQ's got some of my favorite series right now. So uh, I'm really hoping they pull through it. 
And as for the delay, I mean, it just seems like these release dates are just like yeah, no, this one, nowadays. This one, like, like I said, meh. was set for the last day of the year when it was originally announced. So, and, you know, that's... Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised at all, though. So. But it, not even a few years ago, it was like an embarrassment to have to delay your game. Mm, it no, was like just, people look like were you know like ashamed to do it. Now it's just expected. Max Payne had almost five every delays. Single, I know. Um, Ghost Recon was supposed to come out ages ago. Yeah, yeah. I know. Like last week f- we had what Tomb Raider and uh, what's the other one? Uh, Tomb Raider and uh, Bioshock and Bioshock yeah. both got. And it's just like everybody's just like, oh, no big deal. What else? Yeah. We're missing by a few months. Yeah. What are so you far, do about the it? only major release coming out this year that has not been delayed is Borderlands Two. Halo. One. Everything Halo has won't had get at delayed. Least they're, one. They're, they're not going to miss the holiday season. Microsoft's not that dumb. Even yeah. if the game's not ready, Halo Four will come out on time. Probably. And and so will Medal of Honor because they have to pump it out a few weeks before Call of Duty. Those if games, they come out post Call of Duty, mm-hmm. they're fucked. Those games are the yearly releases. I don't really count those as the major. I mean, they're major titles, but. They have a set date. They're coming out every single year. So I meant by, like, you know, the other. No, I know what you mean, yeah. 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 All right. Respawn is skipping E3 again. And if you don't know who Respawn is, uh, that is the X-Infinity War people who are going to put out an awesome game. Weston Zampella. Yes, it is. Um, They did release what they're working on, though. It's going to be a Halo-like FPS uh, set in the future. And they're getting help some from EA because they, of course, got bought by them. So... Yeah, more sci-fi shooters. Yeah, so sci-fi, futuristic, some kind of space shooter. Sounds cool. I'll probably buy it. I'll probably buy it, too. Give me... All right, uh, Square Enix posted a $6 billion yen profit, whatever that means in American money. I don't know. Like, it's like sense. 12 bucks. Yeah, $12. <laughs> Best year ever. Um, no, anyway, um, thanks to the awesome success of Deus Ex this year and... Um, not so much in here, but uh, Final uh, Fantasy thirteen two. Yes? Yeah. Roman yeah. numerals. Hooray! So, yeah. yeah. Good job, Square Enix. You have some of my favorite series that you are doing nothing with other than Deus Ex. Well, they are, they are <clears throat> the number one developer in the world for pumping up the games that nobody asks for. Yep. The shit people actually want, they're mm. just like, no. Like, yeah, King Hearts. Why? Why yeah. make? Why make Final Fantasy VII again? People have only been asking for it for since. That's one of the few series I'm surprised they have not done HD collections. They're of. gonna fuck. Square Enix is like shit in their pants because they haven't made a good Final Fantasy in ever. Yeah, I, I was. Well, I'm trying to be more understanding to our listeners that actually like that series, but I know like seven and ten were good games. Like to the rest of the world. I don't understand any of them. They're they're not good. They're not they're not my bad. You make key, cool cutscenes, guys. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know. Tomb, I like Tomb Raider. That's one of the I know Mark's a big uh Kingdom Hearts fan. They I've 75 asking, million dollars. We actually just converted. They made 75 million dollars. Did you actually convert the end yeah, to fucking I did. It's actually 76 million dollar <laughs> profit American. There you go. Yeah. And then uh that I mean Tomb, Ra- Tomb Raider is the only game I'm looking forward to of them. Uh, well, that's cuz they bought IDOS. Yeah, it's not cuz they're yeah, fucking they're not the actual. It. Yeah. They're doing that in Hitman, but they just bought IDOS. Yeah. So I, I don't know. What whatever. I don't really care, but I just know they keep pumping out games that nobody fucking asks that's for. And the shit that everybody's like, "Make this, make this, make this." They're like, "Why would we make that?" But yeah. It's not like we want to make money as a Kingdom, company. Kingdom Hearts 3 and the uh, remake every, of Final Fantasy 7. Everybody wants get a ta- bankruptcy. Everybody wants another tactics that yeah, there're no. no whispers of that. No, let's make Final Fantasy 13 too though. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, they, the game we should make. They make <laughs> games that their Japanese fan base wants and they don't give a rat's ass with the American And then they fan wonder why wants. they're only selling a couple million and, yeah, copies. And and then they're like, whoa, we don't understand. Like, first we of all, did it. Final we Fantasy did it. battle system was the best one. Go back to that. I want to control all my characters, not just two or one. Yeah. Stop making men look like women. Yeah, it's listen awful. to us. Yeah, fuck yeah. you guys. Yeah. There's no yeah. way that chick could pick up that sword. Yeah. No. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty much. Also, I got a congratulations to Telltale. You sold one million copies of The Walking Dead, which is your best and fastest selling uh, game. Good for them! Hooray. Yay! Good for them. Go with them. Yeah, and then the it's point just going to keep. Is not dead. Yeah, and they're probably just going to keep selling when the new episodes come out because I'm sure they'll get. Well, some I think they pres- progressively time. decline as like the episode. I think back back the future did that as well. Mm. Like episode one will sell the most, then two and it'll Yeah, just kinda, I'm sure. Some yeah. people aren't gonna some people are they drop off. Like, Other what? This out. is point and click? Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, what did I do? Yeah. Yeah. 
Because there's not a, a million people in the world who like point and click. Just kidding. No. <laughs> it's like four. Yeah. They just bought it a whole bunch of times. You may have seen some Wii U new pictures, and they finally got rid of the nubs. Hooray! Yay. Now it's thumbsticks. I wonder um, if these things are clickable. They better be. <laughs> I don't know I'd yet. They actually do Nintendo that has yet. never had clickable sticks. But... Nope. Hooray for an actual good decision by Nintendo in their redesign of the Wii U. No, but they they wants to do the, uh, the the Call of Duties. They need clickables. True story. Yeah. This is true. How are you going to knife and run? Yeah. But no, it was a good decision to do the thumbsticks. Um, yeah, the nub- controller looks a little sleeker now. Yeah. I mean, nubs are there for handhelds. Yep. I mean, I know the Wii U can be used that way, but you can't do as much with a nub that you can with a thumbstick, you know? FNA cotton. Yeah. And, you know, especially with the 3DS not having the second one, you know, they had to do the add-ons. I mean, it just, yeah. I think they're thinking ahead, finally, for that. Nah. Yeah, anyway. All right, cool. Uh, more Activision news. Uh, I only have two left, because it was actually a short week. Uh, let's see. Um, Activision finally paid its ex-Infinity Ward people. Uh, they gave a total of $42 million to be divided up between the team. The original asking price was between 75 to $125 million. I think they should be happy because I doubt they're going to get the rest. F and A. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, guys. You made a cool game and the series went horribly, horribly wrong. Yep. All right. Number one news story of the week. Sexy, sexy. Um, let's see. The biggest story, continuing story for like the whole week was um, Studio 38 out there in Rhode Island. Owner uh, was uh, Kurt Schilling. You know, more sports pitcher. Oh, yeah, yeah. But anywho. Kingdoms uh, of Amalur. Yeah. You got that game. Um, Remember that thing that four people bought? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this was a game that was like, I mean, right from the start, basically, this game was had no way of living up to it. I mean, this was like an all or nothing right off the bat kind of thing um, where they actually got like, I think it was like a 50, maybe even a $60 million, $60 million loan somewhere in there from the state of Rhode Island. That was taxpayer money. They actually got to open the studio and make this game. So basically... They're in debt for quite a bit for this. Uh, but anywho, this week they were forced to lay off, I think they lay off about 20 people. Also, they have a staff of like 370 people, which is friggin' ridiculous. Which each, you know, each person's probably making at least 50 million, e- or well, 50 million, 50,000 a year. Um, but anyway, so they laid off like 20 people at the start of the week um, because they were supposed to um, make a payment this week. And um, they sent a check to the state of Rhode Island for a hundred and um, 1.25. or one point two five, yeah, that's what I meant, a uh, million dollars. And the check bounced. Uh, oh, yeah. So, shit. oops. Um, so, also along with this, none of the th- over three hundred staffers had actually been paid this week. But yesterday, out of nowhere, they were able to clear a forty nine million dollar check that just came out of freaking nowhere. Um, and they were actually able to pay off what they owed to the state. Um, and this is at, like days after a uh, you know a one million dollar check bounced. So fifty million dollars kind of fell out of their asses somewhere. Um, and that was like the biggest loan they had to pay off. Uh, they still have fifteen point two million dollars left to pay on the loan, which I they have to like next year to do. Um, but it seems that they found kind of like a private like funder. I'm not exactly sure. Like this money, just you know, forty nine million dollars doesn't come out of absolutely nowhere. I wish um, it did. Yeah, I know it would be awesome. Um, then later this week, actually somewhere in between these, uh, they announced that uh, a new MMO they're making called Copernicus is coming out. MMO is coming out later next year. I believe they're aiming for a June release. But yeah, so that was number one story of the week. Forty nine million dollars comes out of nowhere. It's probably Kirsch- Why doesn't it happen to me? Kirsch then probably just fronted the money so he could make his not WoW but WoW MMO because he loves he Warcraft. He does not have $50 million. Yeah. Yeah, this, I didn't hear about the second part of this. That, that, that fi- one like, actually just happened on Saturday. Because I know this has been ongoing, like you said, for like a week or two. Where yeah, there's just been like, oh, uh, we're fucked. We're going to be taken by the state, basically. That's what, originally, they were going to be taken by the state because mm-hmm. they couldn't make the payment. Yeah. And the people in Rhode Island were flipping out because why would they? They thought this was like a sure investment. Yeah, and it, with the tech, because that's what they were like. Kind yeah, of talking they, so, they only sold like four hundred thousand copies. Yeah. So. Yeah, but I yeah, think. I would love to find this. They only made the payment yesterday. I think the story dropped around like four or five o'clock. So <laughs> mm, I have no idea. No one works on Sundays. Um, <laughs> to uh, find out where like fifty million dollars just came from. 
<laughs> I'm sure it'll pop up this week. Yeah, I'm sure. The rest of the I'll uh, report next week. Fucking hey. Yeah. Oh, I found a bag. <laughs> it's in the street it's corner. Just, it's just so much money on the street My corner. dream <laughs> came true in Rhode Island. Right. Didn't even know the state mattered. <clears throat> Anywho, sexy yeah, weeks. Um, not um, so sexy. Yeah, I like it. Um, so, what what's happening now? Is we're waiting on this piece of sh- okay. It came up. <laughs> this piece of <laughs> my, my my piece of shit gateway was loading the page for this week in history Hooray. for the last like minute and a half. There was some stuff, and it happened in the past. Um, so everyone out there, we're gonna fix Tony's laptop today. Supposedly, yeah, we're gonna what? What are we doing? We're reformatting. We're giving me Linux, right, to get rid of all the the bugs and viruses. Yeah, ah, coffee. Well, stop downloading all the porn, Tony. I nope. can't help it. I I understand. Okay, um, so. Uh, let's start off with May 15th, yeah? Uh, back in 2003, Atari and Warner Brothers Interactive released Enter the Matrix. Matrix. That game. Yeah. <laughs> Matrix. Uh, the same day that Matrix <laughs> Reloaded opened in theaters. That movie was awful. Uh, that same day, in 2006, Nintendo released New Super Mario Brothers in North America. Um, on May 16th, 1969... David was born, and he's Leon from Kingdom Hearts, the voice. Uh, let's see, 2003. And this one, oh, oh, the Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Yeah, hooray! Ooh, Somebody was making a big deal Boobies. about that. Yeah. Boob physics, yeah. as my <laughs> motion capture teacher would say, got to put some boob physics on that. Jiggle physics. Ball. Uh, 1973. Uh, Hudson Softco. Uh, sets up shop as PC accessory developer. They were uh, best known for being Nintendo's first third-party developer, and that started in 1984. But the company was opened in 1973 on May 18th. May 20th. I don't know what this is. You know, just because we're talking about Nintendo, I have to con- congratulate my friend Andrew Forrester. He actually is going for an interview at Nintendo in North Carolina, so I hope he gets it, because he's good going luck. down there, I think, this week. So. Yeah, good luck, man. Yay! Yay. Uh, and in 92, Sega of America and Sony announced that ImageSoft will making games for the Genesis <coughs> and Game Gear. Uh, the most notable contribution is Sewer Shark, which I've never even heard of. I'd... So apparently their most notable contributions are not all that notable. <laughs> uh, that's about it. That's this week in gaming history, folks. Yay! Yay! Hi, Joe. Hi. Good noise. <laughs> um. All right. So let's get on to questions. Um. Which one do I want to do first? Brendan. Brendan. Hi, Brendan. How do you guys feel about piracy and how is it affecting the video game industry? It sucks. Because uh, America doesn't do most of it, and we get fucked out of it the most. Yeah. Right. It's all um, China's fault. Yeah. It's all. It's Asia's fucking ruining it for us. The, the like I I I I've been known to pirate a thing or two here and there. Um, the 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 thing is, it, it's never right, but it hurts the video game industry the most. Because when you look at like movies or TV shows, they have other mediums to get it out on. They have on demand that Comcast paying them for. They have uh, TV. They have their run at the box office when you're talking about movies. So then they're just losing out on partial DVD slash Blu-ray sales. But they made a lot of money at the box office and what have you. Um, when you're talking about music, they have chance. Those bands go on tour. They go do concerts. They do sell some CDs. The radio pays them for the rights to play their movie. They have other ways to bring in money. And then they lose some money for CD sales because they get pirated. Video games only have one way to get their work out to you. And if that's half of it's being pirated, they're really getting screwed. They don't have TV or the box office or some other way to get their product out to you. Um, so uh, you can't stop it, and I'm not going to lecture anybody because we all do it too, but just... Just the music. Be a, be a little bit more... Yeah, be a little bit more Movies. aware of what you're doing because when you do it to the video... We, I mean, we talk about it every week that these good these good developers are getting closed down because the piracy promise... It's it's not just once in a while where it's like, hey, I'm a little short. People are pirating just to pirate. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have and, a buddy of mine who was like, oh, I'll just pirate Mass Effect 3 because I didn't pay for the other two. I'm like, well, not that EA needs more money, but, you know, Bioware does make a good game <laughs> and they deserve your $60 if it's worth it. 
I mean, and it's not even it's not even those poor guys get the sixty no, bucks. By the like time packaging and EA takes their cut, bucks. it's like yeah, it's like yeah. you know they could use that. Yeah, I mean I know why they. I mean that's the same reason they get butt hurt by used games. But I mean that's why that's why everyone who complains that Diablo three. Well, why do I have to be sent on to BattleNet? Why do I have to authenticate it every time I log on? Because that way you can't pirate the game. That's oh well if you're not authenticated by BattleNet, guess you don't get to play. And yeah, it sucks, especially when the servers go down, but they do rolling restarts. It takes, what, five minutes? You yeah. get a little notification, you log off, go check your Facebook. By then, it's back on. Um, but yeah, pirating video games, it's. I hate every idiot who comes into my store with a modded Xbox because they didn't want to pay for something. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, you want to pirate Call of Duty, knock your socks off. They're going to make a billion dollars anyway. But don't pirate Bioshock. Yeah. Don't pirate condemned don't pirate like the good stuff pay for the other stuff is it's almost like i could justify it when you're talking older stuff i mean you want to go steal fucking sonic the hedgehog oh, one yeah, or something stuff. say i mean well that's a bad example because actually sega is still selling that they as do. a digital me uh what's a glover game? okay like yeah like a glover it's like yeah those guys aren't oh, there's no physical way to get that game other than to use the market yeah or an emulator Either way, whoever it is that made Glover is not seeing a penny for it. No. So by that, by that, go ahead. You know, you want to go get some Atari twenty six hundred games. Go ahead. Those guys aren't. No. Nobody's trying to make money off Pitfall anymore. It's, no. it's not happening. Go ahead. Uh, but the newer games, just it, like I said, you're not you're not going to stop it. Just be a little bit more aware of what you're doing to our industry because every week, you know, we're talking about zipper closing and we're talking about all these yeah. delays and, and that that's half the reason people are so scared. Everybody's like, oh, stop making the same old, same old, like with Call of Duty stuff. They know it's a proven formula. Mark's brought this up many times that people are scared to make new IPs. This is half the reason. You know, they're scared it won't sell and people aren't going to put their 60 bucks into a game that they don't know about so they'll probably just pirate it. It happens every yeah. year where games come out with, you know, like no backing, you know, a lot of them, like, no one makes as many sales as the, the next Assassin's Creed. Yeah. You know, it's because you're new. Which sucks, but, you know. Yeah, it's something, like, in the human brain, when you see that 2, or that sequel, or 3, or 4, mm. it, like, shows it as a proven track record. Oh, God. Like, 2 Worlds sold like shit, but 2 Worlds yeah. 2, as oh, soon yeah. as it got that 2, was like... Our people are like, oh, shot. let's give it a shot. I guess uh, it was good enough to merit a second game. Yeah, it boggled my mind how many people bought Portal 2 and never had played the first one. I'm like, why the hell are you buying this if you didn't play Portal 1? Portal 1's phenomenal. It's, what the hell are you doing? It's, it's something in the human psyche yeah. that shows longevity with the series that it's, yeah. But, I mean, just, you, we're not going to stop anything here on this podcast. We're not going to, like, you know. Change the world. What the, yeah, yeah, what the hell are we going to do from here? But Nothing. just just think about it a little bit more. Like, if it's a smaller developer, like, even what, what Shannon was saying, if you want to go steal Call of Duty, go steal Call of Duty. But, you know, those little guys that are only going to sell, like, you know, like Heavy Rain, those guys only sold, like, one million copies. That was a great game. Those oh, guys from Quantum yeah, Dream. Amazing game. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe give them your 60 bucks and go steal from somebody else because, you know, those guys will get their doors closed if they don't sell enough games to recoup their, lot, their initial investment. So... Yeah. Just be a little more aware. That's all. Nothing. Don't nah. Care. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, dude, I have not been pirating anything in like the last seven, eight months. Machine yeah. realm. Shut up. Got him. One. Boosh. One thing. That was also really easy to find. Yeah, I pirate movies, but they if I are. like them, I'll buy them on the DVDs when they come out. I just don't want to spend you know nine hundred dollars going to sit and. A movie theater for two and a half hours. Yeah, movies are also different too. Like yeah. nowadays, you wait long enough, it's gonna be, f- it's on cable, it's gonna be oh, it's on Netflix. Like it'll be on Netflix. Later. Everybody's gonna like you're kind of yeah, yeah. For, just like, whatever. whatever. And like I, like I was trying to say earlier, movies get tons of chances oh, to make yeah. money. They make just an obscene amount of money. The video games if they don't physically sell you that disc, they don't the, make a dollar. Yeah. So it's just it's kind of different. I don't know. That's all I got to say. All right. Andrew Dillon asks, most overrated, underrated video game genres. Mm. Genres, eh? His his most overrated was uh, racing because it's good, just not enough. Okay. And underrated is fantasy. Yeah, I, I know on the ra- I know me and Joe are big racing fans, but Huge I understand a lot of people don't really like that. I get that. Uh, for me, I just like I tuning know. cars. Overrated? Yeah. Oh man, sports. Yep. Just because it is this, you essentially you're you, buying the same the game same every year thing with a roster update every single year. I mean, yeah, there's there's every once in a while there's the good ones, but do you really need to buy? 
you know, 2K12 and 13 and 14 and 15 because, you know, random guy A got traded from the Bills to the Broncos to the whatever. Yeah. It's like, dude, who cares? You could have just done that yourself. Yeah. <laughs> they What they should do is just, like, make a game every five years yeah. and just do DLC do 20, updates. Do a $20 update every, yeah, yeah. yeah roster well, I've been, updates. I've been saying that for years. Make but big advances. why would they do that? They want oh, their yeah. 60 bucks every year. But yeah. they could they could do at least six dollars worth of DLC, and that would actually cut down production costs for them because they wouldn't. Yeah, they would make more money off of sixty dollars worth of DLC than a disc. Yeah, do you know do like the big ones after the draft? It doesn't even have to be the, every five years. That's a little even every three years. Yeah, whatever. Three something. Three. Yeah, yeah. Just you don't need a game every year for a sports game. Yeah, I agree. With minuscule changes, I know. And they're almost always tacked on to be like, oh, look, this is new now. And it's yeah, like, sometimes it, it doesn't even work as good because they just want to be like, look, we added something. Yeah. And it's just something really dumb. Like, there's look, there's nothing else this, they this, can add to a sports game. Or they, um, they tweak some tiny little insignificant yeah. player mode. It's like, dude, no one cares. My most overrated is definitely the... I might be con- c- combining a couple genres here, but to me it's all the same. And that's the whole, like, we Fit, Dance Central... Blah blah blah. Stand like the the actual dancing. The only like, game, jackass. the only motion games that actually are dance dance money. revolution. The fucking that whole ugh, mm. terrible. Um, yeah, definitely overrated for me. Yeah, there, Michael Jackson's uh, the ex, the experience. That whole that might be a couple genres. I don't even know. It's, I would that whole all the that whole dance. standing in front. Like it's not. It's 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 like even more retarded than motion gaming. It's like to the next level. It's well, like the... the oh, Half those are motion gaming at oh, this point. No, yeah. no, I, I'm saying like... Um, I guess I'm explaining it wrong here. Uh, it's not simply waggling a little remote. You're actually standing in front of your mm. TV like a jackass. Jackass. I will... The, the only <laughs> defense of those I have is um, when I was not a lazy misanthrope and I actually tried to exercise and lose weight... From pretty much we fit alone, I did end up losing like seventy pounds. Oh, so and then if you have there's, the, the there's, dedication to it, yeah. and you do it, and you do it properly, and don't cheat, the fitness ones do have their place. But yeah, I'm so sick of Just Dance One, Just Dance Two, Just Dance Three, Just Dance Summer Kids, Just Dance Summer Kids Two. Like, dude, do we just need dance. Every, do we really need to have another one yeah. of these goddamn things released every three months? That's what I'm and, saying. Yeah. And I know more more than a few people that say super skinny from DDR. Oh yeah, it's because it it they're workout. really good. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with throwing a little physical. Vo- I'm not trying to say oh, that. Oh no, I, I don't want anybody to misinterpret what I'm trying to say here. It's like those those now CDs. Yeah, they're oh. on like 47. Like, need, need, need we one every three months? Yeah, yeah. For all the new songs. <laughs> yeah, and Dude, people- new music oh. comes out all the time. <laughs> yeah, and people continue to just throw money at what is it? Ubisoft is one of the biggest defenders with those. I will definitely have to say my most overrated genre is definitely the first person shooter. Mm-hmm. Uh, my most underrated is third person shooter. I didn't get to yeah. underrated, that, did we? I didn't do under yeah. yeah. I, I I like you know, first person shooter I'm very disconnected from my character. Third person I actually feel more connected to my character because I can see him much more and you know, most 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 games are first person shooter. I like seeing my character, you know. Like knowing who I am. I always get mad if I look straight down and can't see my feet. Yeah. That is a really dumb thing to be angry about. If I look straight Mirror's down, Mirror's Edge was like... amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Some games have been just like putting that in. Okay. For, for me, underrated is. Um, it, it never used to be this way, but it has been the last couple gens, and that's the platformer. Yeah. Platformers are going down. I, I miss it. They're gone. They're, they're, oh. And, and they still come pump. They, they showed you that with Rayman. Or Rayman or Oranges came out. That's a great fucking oranges. platform. And then you, they threw in the the Jack and Dexter HD remake yeah. and the Ratchet and Clank's coming out again. And they're just the platformer's not dead, or, but they're letting it die. Yeah. And I made a platformer this year. My favorite is Little Big Planet. I love Little Big Planet. Yeah, it's cutesy, it's ridiculous, but is really fun to play. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's it's still can you can make those games, and that's what I grew up playing. That's oh, yeah. what taught me video games, going that left to right with Mario Brothers yep. or Zelda or what have you. Just the, the running and jumping Contra on the original yes. NES. Just, oh god, the game's so hard. Th- this is so what fun. I this is what I started you know my video game career on. So I I always like that that left to right game, I guess. I don't know. And they're, they're just kind of slowly vanishing because everybody feels like they got to make these huge open world sandbox games. And while those things are fun and I like them and they have their place, they don't necessarily need to be every single game. No. It doesn't have to be Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty clones. No. 
Yeah. And this one is better. Yeah. I would almost have to agree with Mark with the third person for underrated. Because I love Gears. I love Mass Effect. I mean, I don't really play Ghost Recon, but it has its place. But Vanquish was awesome. Vanquish was awesome. I'm so sick of these idiot kids coming in. I'm like, what's a good shooter? And I'm like, well, you know, Gears is really good. Or, you know, this is really good. No. Well, I only like first person. I'm going to call it. Get the. No. Stop it. Gears is an amazing game. And arguably ten times better than Call of Duty could ever be. Stupid game made me cry. <laughs> <laughs> What, but, Gears of War did? Oh, yeah. Gears, Gears to make you care the best. Well, when Dom? Oh. Spoilers? When Dom? No, it's been six months. It's fine. Uh, Everybody knows by now. Yeah. Like, yeah, when Dom dies? At the end? Oh, really? God, I was I'm so like, into the Gears story. I thought it was so lame. I felt worse when Maria died in, in 2. Oh, I, See, I, I, didn't I didn't care. care. I'm the opposite. I really didn't care when Dom died. I did, though. But because you know Dom. Like, you know Maria because he talks about But I about felt so bad much. for Dom. That's yeah. why. That's what I think made I me feel worse. I didn't care as much, though. Because, like... I know it was, like, a huge loss for him, but, I don't know, I just wasn't as emotionally attached to that as I was the character. Yeah. yeah. I, I, John I DiMaggio, I still love you. That came out of fucking Actually, nowhere, too. When he, I'm like, oh, yeah. what's he doing? <laughs> it went, they, like, that starts, he gets that stupid truck, and they start playing that Mad World song, just like, oh, God, no, <laughs> Dom, don't. Pause, pause. <laughs> yeah. No, it'll be oh, okay, just, just keep going. <laughs> Poor Marcus Phoenix, that's just a bad day over yeah. and Like, oh, your best friend died? Oh, BT Dubs, your dad's going to disintegrate in front of you. So there's that. <laughs> Have fun. Oh, good stuff. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, that's a, oh, what's your, what are we missing? You're overrated? Or no, you're... Underrated? My no, underrated is racing. Really? Yeah, yeah. always. Fucking a. Love racing games. Yeah, I agree. There's, those those are good games. They don't... They're fun. They have their place. <laughs> the problem is the, the ones that sell better are arcadey. That's what I don't like. See, I love the arcadey ones. I like them too. But the yeah. ones that deserve it with all the time oh, and the money yeah, put into yeah. the Gran Turismo's and the Forza's do not sell enough copies. No, and, they don't. And the time they spend measuring tracks, like real real tracks and putting yeah. them well, into the, a the game. The problem with Gran Turismo is it was supposed to be a launch title, and then it got pushed back, and then they released that god-awful $40 demo. And then the game finally came out, and at that point, a lot of people were like, well, I already have an Xbox, and there's, you know, three Forzas I can play before one Gran Turismo comes out. Well, it, it's it been like a year since it's like two and a half. Came out. Two and a half. Yeah, right. okay, two and a half. Yeah, rock on. So okay. there you go. Overrated, Most underrated. Wanted. Thank you, Andrew Diddle. You are the man, sir. Oh, and he also had that quick E3 thing, if you want me to run through it now. Yeah. yeah, we get that right before the... Uh, oh, rock on. Yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, we can... Um, one more question. Uh, Tyler, this is actually from some party. I don't know, whatever party he went to. I don't care. But uh, the question is, if, if Master Chief and a Jedi Knight fought, who would win? And let's be honest. Batman? Duh. Yeah, totally. He would just come in and whoop everyone's ass. Um, you guys know I'm a big Halo nerd. Um, yeah. I'm Halo sorry, fan. Master Chief. There's there's no defeating a Jedi Knight. Yeah, I was gonna say like y- he's still gonna be deflecting bullets and. I, have, stuff. You, have you seen a Jedi Knight just yeah. just ricochet fucking? Just uh, what the hell's Chief gonna do? Sit there and shoot him? Uh, he's just gonna deflect every bullet as he walks well, in on him with the lightsaber. And I would just be interested because um, in Star Wars they shoot lasers. They don't shoot yeah. actual physical bullets. Projectiles. Yeah. So I'm wondering. Does, yeah, is is the only but, reason he blocked bullets because he like he's just effect, deflecting the light beam because it's a physical dude. Thing. They'll just use the force. Yeah, probably. Like, <laughs> yeah, right, like probably. in the Matrix right. with all like nine thousand yeah. bullets, and he's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. exactly what's gonna happen. Gonna the win. only the only thing it's I not even a fair fight. Is if that Mas- if Master Chief snipes him from such a distance that he wouldn't even know it's coming and he was already distracted. Yeah. At that point, I could see a clear headshot, but other than that, it's... He's just about to take off the mask, and it did. Yeah. Damn it's it! Like, <laughs> he's like talking to somebody, and he just lines it up, and Puh. oh, yep, you're dead. Like Cortana's image yes. gets fucking s- s- shot out from R2-D2 and distracts the <laughs> Jedi Knight, while Master Chief comes up from behind and just fucking... Just I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, there'd have to be some stealth and cheating, oh, or else Master Chief doesn't Master Chief's also got armor lock and the decoy... And the jetpack. And are we talking like Obi Wan Kenobi? Or are we talking some like piddly, stupid jackass? No, 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 no. a knight, Jedi? a knight. Oh, a knight. A knight. Yeah. Well, there were some of those knight. guys were knights too. Yeah, not not a not a Padawan. A yeah. Knight. Well, it could, Padawan. I mean, could be one of those guys. They don't send out on missions. He, he you know, he graduated, but he kind of sucks. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> the guy we're really going out on the stretch. Yeah. Out. 
that one guy in the background. So he okay. Took a knife to the ba- so, right. so even we'll, we'll we'll give you that stretch. So what we're saying here is the only way Chief would stand a chance, the greatest Spartan in the world would even stand a chance, would have to be against like the the bench warmer Jedi Knight yeah. who never really saw action. <laughs> And it'd still be a close fight. And also missing one arm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He also only has one arm. Yes. Anyway, yeah. That that that's the only way Chief even stands a chance. So yeah, it's the Jedi Knight. Yeah. All right. You know moving be, on. You know, you know, be, to you know what? Us. We're not these, moving these, on. No, real quick. These would be good, but like I want to get some different ones in there. No, like, not not for today, but just like if people send those in, like the who would who would kick whose ass. These are kind of fun. Like if people just thought some more up. I don't know. I think that'd be fun. No? Everybody's looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. This fucking was cool. crazy, Tony. Hey, Jesus. everyone sent a comment saying, so crazy. crazy, Tony. The comic book people have been making these scenarios for years. years. Yes, it's, but has Ford compatible been making them for years. No. Batman oh, versus okay. Superman. Batman. No, it's true. No, it's it's Superman would fucking rape him. Batman has no. a stupid you tell. No, no, Batman's no, not no, even no, no, no. He's no, my favorite no. superhero. It's, you it's done. It's already written. Batman won. Batman wins. How? He kryptonite. has a stash oh. of kryptonite. Do you want me to go get the comic book right I, now? I believe you. I believe you. But he had to cheat. That's not cheating. That's being resourceful. <laughs> <laughs> Batman's my favorite character. You're not going to sell me in. I think Superman's a douche. He is. Yeah, but... All he's got is the fucking yellow sun. Yeah, fuck that thing. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. yeah. You, you go to any other galaxy, Superman is fucked. Yeah, but Batman can't breathe on another galaxy. It's, it's fan. Batman's smart. He'll figure it out. <laughs> He's got a lot of money. Yeah, he's a shitload of fat. <laughs> and with money, you can do everything. Money is everything. All right, well, here. <laughs> I, I got one for you. Nathan Drake Nathan or Drake Marcus is. Phoenix. Oh, Marcus man. Phoenix Marcus one. Phoenix is a badass. Phoenix would whoop his ass. Yeah. Nathan Drake's so cool because he's the everyman. He's not, like, super what have you. He's just kind of like... The normal guy. That's why everybody fell in love with Indiana Jones. He's not super big or super strong or super. He's just smart. Yeah, and he's and he's kind of tough. He's like the everyman. That's that's your Nathan Drake. That's why he's so lovable. I like him because he's Mal Reynolds. Yeah. And I love Mal Reynolds. Yeah. Everybody should go watch Firefly. Yeah. yeah. Tony. Right, let's move on. T- all right. Tony. Um. Watch Firefly. All right. So Andrew Dillon also asked um, about the E3. What channel it's going to be on? Let's uh, let's go through that real okay. quick. It's usually on Spike TV. Uh, it's probably going to be on there this year again. But Wait, what, doesn't G4 do something for it too? I think Game Trailers who also streams some who stuff. Who the fuck has G4 anymore? Mm, I think I do. I don't know. Boobs. Somebody Andrew. Boobs. Um, anyway, usually they're on Spike. Uh, what's happening this year is it seems like they're moving more to like a digital forefront, which yeah. I don't know if they're going to actually have them on Spike anymore because it costs a lot of money to put them on there. Uh, what Xbox and Sony have already confirmed is they will both be playing their actual presentations from their respective consoles. So you can just go on the PlayStation Store and start streaming the the Sony press conference and you can do the same thing from Xbox. Sony actually did this last year and it proved to be very successful. So I think that's why they're doing it again and Xbox decided to jump on the band copy them as well. Uh, Nintendo will be on Spike. They might all be <laughs> on Spike, but you know. Yeah. A lot of places. I know last year, um, Game Chillers was doing some streams too yeah. of the major press conferences, and I've n- I think IGN was as well. Not one hundred percent sure on that. I know Mikey was streaming stuff on his phone. Um, this year, I plan to bring my laptop so we don't have to deal with crappy internet. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a you can just Google search who's hosting an E three Steam. I'm sure you can find like fifty places that'll do it. Yeah, yeah, Some I'm sure. Some jackass standing there with a cell phone. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, you can find that from everybody. Twitch TV, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But uh, channel, like I said, most likely physical regular cable will probably be Spike. Uh, I don't know what systems he has because he always sends us in questions. Is he? I think either way, we should ask him questions. System. We should ask Andrew Dillon a question. Yeah. Hmm. Andrew Dillon, what systems do you have? Yes, let us know. What's your system of choice? What's your favorite bagel joint? (laughs) What do you prefer, hot soup or cold soup? (laughs) What kind of ice cream do you like? Flathead screwdrivers or flathead screwdrivers? The answer is always Phillips. Let us us know in the comments this week uh, what systems you own so we could uh, talk a little bit more about that. And bagels, yeah. Those are your two serious Love questions. Bagels. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. <laughs> All right, let's. let's, let's, coming here. let's um, actually, I got I one more question for him. What's your What's your favorite game, man? What What do you like to play? Yeah, yeah. Let's know that too. All right. Um, 
Moving on to rumors. The Beyond Good and Evil 2 leaked screens are very fishy. Oh, just, I don't care. Give me the game now. I want it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, There's Good fish in it? No, I've seen it. <laughs> Beyond Good and Evil was so good, and it just came out at such a shitty time with a whole bunch of other, like... It, like Ubisoft released four games, like, the same day against its own game, yeah. which makes... <laughs> Compete! No... Yeah. Fight for your life! <laughs> now kiss! <laughs> um, <laughs> like you making the forcing hands just yes. come... I talk with my hands, apparently, and I need to stop. Um, but it's, It doesn't translate well in a podcast. It does not. <laughs> not at all. Um, but I want it... I saw the original thing that Ubisoft leaked. Uh, no, they and I said E3 it was just a video of the pig dude page just sitting there. It's just like, beyond good, give it to me now. And nothing. Just nothing. So it better be real, because I want it. <laughs> yeah. Nerd. Yeah. I am a nerd. Deal with it. Alright. Uh, I, I like the first one. Uh, I hope they're making a second one eventually. Awesome. It's not exactly on my top ten wish list, but if one came out, I'll get Humor's it. Number one. Sorry, yeah. Colin. What? Now number one. Don't worry about it. I'm just yelling at Square Enix more. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah, I should do that a lot. Yep. You in the Fast Books? No. Fast Books. Why? Should I be? Actually, I am. <laughs> Different tab. What's up? Why? Okay, so go ahead. Okay. Um, PlayStation Smash Brothers will be coming to Vita, supposedly. And, Very uh, that would happen. No, no word on if it's going to be cross whatever with PlayStation. That one, I don't know if it'll work. If they did, they've done... Mortal Kombat did really good on the Vita. Did it really? Do yeah, I need to go buy it? Uh, yeah, uh, but... It sold a decent amount, and everyone that I know that has one, that, like, Harrison, one of the guys I work with, will not shut up about it, and he, makes, he wants me to play it every time he brings his Vita to work. But, yeah, he says it's, like, it's better than the PS3 version. No way. I don't know if it's true, but that's what he says. He lies! I'm going to go buy it. Okay. All right. Um, rumor, D3 not hitting Japan due to a sky-high price. And now we all know that's not true, because it's going to be like 8 billion yen, which is like 14 bucks. Yep. 15, 15 We maybe. did the math on that already. We yeah, don't have yeah, a conversion yeah. No, that, that'd that be kind of sad. <sighs> I, I thought like the, the, the Asian market was crazy for these kinds of games. It is. Didn't, yeah, Co- didn't Korea beat... Um, yeah, they beat Diablo. Beat, they beat it, Korea, they beat it in, like, in like seven minutes, right? Yeah. They already tore through Diablo 3? Yeah, they well, they had to get back to StarCraft, so they just ran through it real fast. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <Okay. laughs> Return. Um, it's probably more to the fact that in Japan, there's a lot of really strict laws about video game releases and playing characters and all sorts of crazy stuff like that. And the people die over there because they sit in the internet cafes, in internet cafes too long. Yeah, they're stupid. Yeah, they don't know when to stop. Hey, make your eyes smaller too. (laughs) 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 Oh shit! Hey, it's all Walt Disney's fault. Yes, it is. It's not. It's not your fault, Japan. It's our fault. Yeah, we made your anime. All right, three more. Go on. Three more. This is actually my favorite, but it's definitely not the biggest of the week. Is uh, Mirror's Edge 2 will be shown at E3. Hell yes! Oh God, it's so sunny! I don't care, Mirror's <laughs> Edge was amazing. Yay. I love that game. Random Reflective red light. stuff strewed about a white environment. Yep. Cool thing about Mirror's Edge was it was one of the few games that was doing basically ref- uh, reflect- uh, bleh, reflected light and uh, a lot of baked in lighting. Yeah. Baked in lighting basically means the lighting's fake, <laughs> but it looks and also real. really yeah. bright. It was yeah. very bright. Are you yeah. sure there's just not a little sun built into my Xbox? <laughs> yeah, there <laughs> might fake. be that too. It's a small little supernova. Yeah, um, that's awesome. I really liked Mirror's Edge. Me too. It was a really cool game. Um, interesting story. Anybody. Tony hated it. What? I love Mirror's Edge. I was not a fan. I I made oh, him no. buy it because I I really really thought he was gonna like it when he was with my customer and he bought it and he's like. Meh. I brought it back like two days later. I was like, not it's, for me. My only problem with it was it was very trial and error for me. And platformers with like when it's platformers like that, they do annoy me with that because I hate dying and reloading. Like what they need to do is they need to cut down the load times. Some of the load times were yeah, like, kind of atrocious at times. There was nothing wrong with the gameplay. Like it, it worked. No, it yeah, wasn't, it worked. wasn't like a broken game. It just wasn't fun. Like, it oh, controlled it real last. well. Everything... I was just sitting there like, this is lame. I don't get it. Like, it wasn't for me. I don't know. Mm. I'm sure a lot of people out there liked it. It sold really well. 
I might enough. be the I might be the weirdo, but I, it wasn't for me. You can't like every game. No, I'll know you're the weirdo. I am. I am. All right. Um, I wore my pants backwards. Oh, that's what yeah. that is. <laughs> Should we that's move on? So and and talk some Gran Turismo Five? No, not Gran Turismo. Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah, go for no. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I'm probably not gonna like it because Saints Row ruined the open world for me because it's probably not gonna be as fun. Anymore. Did you get to date your cousin again? Because that was fun. I just want to rock the car with the prostitutes. Yeah. 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 Right? And then you kill them and get your money back because it yeah. was bad. Yep. Yeah. So apparently, uh, was like ten. Amazon <laughs> UK posted a December release date for yeah, Grand bullshit. Theft Auto Five. That's just retarded. Who releases? No that? one releases in December. Yeah, there's not That's enough time false. to, to oh, yeah, advertise. Get away with it if they're expansion packs. There's not enough time to advertise before Christmas. There's not enough time for the kids to be like, "Mommy, mommy, this, this, this." Yeah. Like last week in November is as late as you fucking release. You d- like you don't want to release before it's Thanksgiving. It's a good or after Thanksgiving. It's a good idea, I guess, because it won't be anything else. It'll be like a few weeks after the major releases, but no one releases in December. I'm saying well, that's false. I think with uh, Grand Theft Auto, and you know, it got announced, and we all worked at GameStop when it got announced. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We were taking and pre-orders on it, I remember. Uh-huh. No. no. We have not started taking pre-orders no. on that. Mm-mm. No. We, <gasps> no, people were asking us. Yeah, I we we were taking all time, but. hundreds of phone calls a day. Can you reserve Grand That's, what was, that's why I was getting confused. And I was telling everybody no. Yeah. Yeah. We're still to this day. It's the, there's no skew in the computer system. They will do something at E3 for it. I guarantee it. Um, I, I don't think we're going to have I don't think it's GTA release. until second quarter next year. Yeah, I think that's a good release time for them. Rebio- like, you know, like, there's been complaints for years about, like, no good spring games, basically. You have Bioshock, and if Grand Theft Auto comes out, then it's great for them. There's gonna be a huge market. Everyone's gonna have a bunch of leftover money. It's, it's when they should do it. Well, in the last couple of years, um, Rockstar has released all their games in May. I mean, Max Payne came out in May, uh, L.A. Noir came out in May, Red Dead Redemption came out in May, I think Grand Theft Auto Far came out in March. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's right. It's something like that. They've always done like the yeah. It makes more sense to me. Year. That's I've been saying that for yeah. the last five episodes. That's what I think's happening. Oh yeah. It's no, I yeah, I'm not expecting it. I think E3 is going to have a big showcase. Yeah, they'll and they'll then they'll, they'll stuff. announce uh, Spring 13 or whatever. Yeah. What what have you? Whatever you want to call it, quarter two spring. Yeah, I'm still not going to buy it though. Damn it. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. We'll see. I don't. Mm-hmm. I haven't liked it since Vice City. I liked Grand Theft Auto Four, but Saints Row is just so much better to me at this point. Yeah, it. That's what I, I don't even care about because Grand Theft Auto, like Four was just like me. I played it. It was all right. You know. I just did the story. I mean, you know, they always have good stories. Rock, Rockstar always tells a good story, but you know, I don't know. We'll see. Because I, I'm, I didn't. I'm, I got bored with Red Dead. I'm, I'm done with Rockstar except for Red Dead. If they make Red Dead Two, I'm on board. Mm. Everything else, I just don't care about their Red IPs 3, anymore. But yeah. I'm done. With, I'm done with Max Payne's. I didn't give a shit. I didn't want to get three at all. Like mm. it wasn't even on my radar. Uh, I'm done with the Grand Theft Autos. I I don't. I never tried the bullies, so that might be okay. But eh. Eh. whatever. See, everybody's like meh. They're just yeah. all meh. I, I don't care about their shit anymore. I don't. I don't know. No. If I want an open world, give me like Skyrim. Like allow me to go in like practically every like open every door. I mean, I know it's a city and it's different, but I want to be able to like. I don't know. I get. I just get so bored. Like yeah. in Skyrim, I can wander around and find a dungeon at least and steal shit and steal shit and do a Grand Theft Auto. Like, first of all, you always play some douchebag character there, that has no redeeming good qualities whatsoever. Yeah. They're always forgettable and, too. Yeah, and it's always like, oh great, that guy that I played as for four hours. Awesome. I, mean, I still remember their names. You know, yeah. we got Tommy Versetti and yeah, Nico Bellic and but it's John just- Marston. Love John Marston. Oh, John yeah. Marston's red. Right ooh, He's not ooh, He's ooh. There's a good well, no, one. I was going down the list of their main characters. Nathan Drake versus John Marston. Nathan Drake. Yeah. Marston. I don't think so. I'm going to say Marston. Marston's got uh, 130 years less technology in his guns. His Whatever. stuff's very. Does he have an AK? But he's got dead eye. He does. True have story. Fuck dead eye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Yeah. 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 Anyone? All right. So. Big rumor with a little sub rumor to piss Tony off. <laughs> Yay, pissed off. You ready for this? Yes. I left this out of the email when I sent I it like to you. I like it. All right, so Xbox 720 in 2014 with a launch title of Halo 2 Anniversary. Why, dude? Hey. <sighs> yes, let's launch our brand new 
I'll buy the console. Dollar system for a piece of crap game See, that it. had the shittiest story <laughs> in the Halo universe. Awesome, good job. I hate Halo Two and Three. I'm, I'm actually one. super excited to talk about the Halo Two no, being I, on the 720 because Tony wants it on the th- 360, so he could have all the Halo games on 360 on no, one system. You don't because it. it <sighs> Soon as <laughs> soon as the 720 comes out, they're going to give you that six month grace period, and then none of our fucking 360 games work online again. Yeah, it's none of them. Don't fucking kid yourself. Stupid. So, the only playable Halo title, like, oh God, fuck it, I don't even want. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, fuck that's them. just that's stupid. That is dumb as hell. I'm buying the system. I'll buy the I system. Probably, but I'm not going to buy Halo Two again. More than likely, would skip that though. That game pissed me oh, off I'll the first it. time I played it. I'll get it. Yeah. I'll be mad about it. I'll be bitching and moaning the whole time, but I'll be waiting in line for the midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to give them another sixty dollars for a four hour campaign. No, it's going to be forty. Where uh, where the rumor? And the uh, Halo One and from. Two campaigns were super long. Yeah, they uh, hit no two is not for it. I beat two in four hours. Really? I beat yeah two and three. One's, I, one's long as shit. One and Reach are long as shit. Two and three were so focused on the multiplayer. The single player seems three. like it was an afterthought. Three was a good story. I liked, I liked it. Three. Okay. It was if you play with the legendary ending, that's a good fucking yeah. That's a great ending. Yeah, I've seen it. I, I didn't beat it legendary, but I saw it. I saw the extended. We can run, I'll run through it with hey, you, legendary, if you want. I don't know. Where the rumors I tried from? with my friend, and they, no. I'm mm-hmm. really. Where'd you get it off of? Yeah, I, who, who, I'm good at one and reach. I'm not okay. good at two and three. I'm really good at Halo. Don't worry. Battle rifle can <laughs> suck it. I hate that. I get you through it if you need it. No, nah, I really don't care. Okay. I've played it once. I was I remember getting it at the midnight. I spent one hundred fifty dollars on that goddamn collector's edition because I hate my money. I got home. I played it for two hours. I went to sleep. I woke up two hours later. The credits rolled, and I was just like, "Fuck I you!" I loved Bungie. Halo Three. I love I Halo Three too. Three was one of my favorite ones. I don't play multiplayer though. Like I, I do. No, I, no, I, just I loved story. every aspect. Oh, see, no, I, I love the levels. The story was they were good, so yeah. cool. The flood can suck it. I like the the switching between characters. But the, with two, with the three. first half with the first three, half two? of that no. rumor. No. No. Either way, uh, I still Arbor loved it. was your sec- was player two. He yeah. was always with you, but he was yeah. player two. Oh no! In the um, in three um, co op, you still played as him. Yeah, yeah, it, the, that's what I was the thinking. The second of, player yeah. played Arbiter, and then third and fourth played two unnamed. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of because Halo yeah. Two, I didn't play co op, so. And with the first part of that rumor, I think we should save the major discussion for the Xbox. Yeah, let's thing. do that. But, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I do think that's pretty much right on. I've said that before. Yeah. It's going to be like... They need a new franchise. October, too. November yeah. of 2014. But yeah, yeah, that was me. That sounds about right. And you got to have some Halo to launch with it, and Halo 5 obviously wouldn't be ready by this time next year. No. Well, at that point, oh. it would be, what, a year? Oh, that'd be two... They're saying 14? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck that. That would be a Halo next game, Next year. Next year, you bastards. So, Microsoft, next year, 2013. That's, yeah, that's a rumor. That's what yeah. I want. I would like. Oh, yeah. I would like to see them maybe go easy on AAA titles for next year to to amp up for the new systems because I'm so tired of spending all this money on brand new systems and having just the worst games in the world to play. It's like awesome sports game, sports game, Project Gotham because no one cares. Call of Duty, Ridge Racer, a Call of Duty game, but I won't play that. Like if they if I could have like a Halo Five or a New Gears of War or something like polished and ready to go. Then it would be worth the money right off the bat. Yep. Rock on. We will see. Is that it on the room though? That that is it. Right. You went over. All right, and we're back. To a quick break. Uh, we are going to hop into our extended Sony E3 preview. Um, so sorry if we go a little over, but there's a lot to cover. Uh, we're going to be talking all things Sony, what we think is going to be happening, what we're looking forward to, what we're going to be disappointed about, our guesses, what have you, all that kind of stuff. So um, I'd like to start off by kind of going around the room and just get some initial thoughts, what you guys think is going to lead the way, what they're going to focus on, what have you, all that kind of Definitely going to be leading the way with their first party games. they got, you know, a lot coming out next year, too. Yeah. But yeah. What do you think, Shannon? Um, well, it's interesting to note that one of Sony's biggest titles was already announced, and that's God of War. So I'm kind of thinking they're going to go crazy deep in Vita stuff. Um, and, you know, maybe a few PS3 titles here and there. But they did a lot of hardware last year, because they did the TV last year. It was like the last big unveil for the Vita before the system came out. They did some move crap that no one cares about. Um, but announcing God of War that early 
is kind of crazy considering like E3 is the perfect thing for yeah. that. So I'm thinking Vita stuff. It's going to be a lot of Vita software. What do you think, Joseph? I agree with Shannon, but I think we're going to get um, I think we're going to get a new IP that everyone's going to be super excited about, and then it's going to flop. Well, then they have The Last of Us. I'm also mm. stop jumping ahead. <laughs> uh, I also think the same thing. Uh, I I think that because they've been leaking some of these. Um, some of the first party games that we'll get to in a minute um, they've been doing that on purpose because I think I've even said this on the show before they only have their two oh. o- they only have their two hours or so uh, <laughs> we're all dance party sorry okay Who um, advertisement started playing <laughs> um, we uh, they, they only have their two hours on stage to to really showcase all that they want to and if they spend it talking about the ps3 the ps3 is selling very very well. It's about to pass up the Xbox, or probably will this year. Uh, they, they're having no trouble pushing the PS3s out the door. Uh, the problem is the Vita. Yeah. Um, so I think that the software, they will showcase some of it, and I'll get to that in a minute. But I think, like you guys said, the main, main focus of the show is going to be showing off the Vita, because they got to get those out the door. So, um, let's move into... With, 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 with like the Xbox show, They because there's going to be the multi-platforms. Right. Yeah. Um. And like with Xbox, they always get the Call of Duty one. They always get the new trailer, even though it's coming out on all the systems. But I wanted to see what you guys thought about the Sony ones. Um. The only big one I could think of off the top of my head is they will definitely get the new Medal of Honor. Yeah. They- because Sony, because since Activision kind of teamed up with with Microsoft, even though they're multi platform, last year Sony got. The Battlefield Three. Yeah, they got that extended trailer. So I think I think that Sony will get the big, big Medal of Honor trailer this year, even though it's multiplay. I think that's their big multi-platform game that mm. that Sony's going to sign up for. And the other one they might get too is if there's a Grand Theft Auto another trailer. I thought um, I wouldn't be surprised if they got Rockstar on Sony's camp. I thought Rockstar had a deal with Microsoft because they always mm. got their stuff a little bit ahead of time. Because the I know Bioware is um, with Microsoft. Bioware. So if Microsoft. there's anything new Bioware, they'll get it. I thought that Rockstar had a deal with. They, they used to. Is, is that over? I don't know. I thought because I know with um, Grand Theft Auto Four, they got the they first got the, the packs DLC quicker. pack early. Yeah, yeah it's like right. a month early or something like that. Um, I can't really I think of anything else that's come. Bioshock would be with uh, Sony. Bioshock I forgot about Sony. that because. Anything- because they're because they're getting the Vita game too, yeah. which we'll get to later. Um, too, yeah. Anything that Valve does, uh, console wise, will probably be done through Sony. Because uh, they had that whole thing last year with Portal Two and um, the fact that you could connect your Steam to your PSN. And then which Gabe Newell nice. came out and apologized for his comments. Yeah, he did, which was yeah. pretty awesome of him. Yeah, love you, Gabe. But but yep. aside aside from that, I really can't. I can't. I'm not sure what other ones that so they'll probably get a few that we didn't think of, and we'll be like, oh yeah. But yeah, um, it really it's really pretty irrelevant because they're all going to be multi platform regardless. Yeah. So let's hop into the exclusives. I know we could talk about God of War first because I know you already brought I'd, that one up. Mm, prequel. Mm, I want it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be good, and I think it's going to have a badass trailer. Sony yeah. Santa Monica is one of the best studios that Sony has under their. Employ under their umbrella. Yeah, they're one of the most talented developers. God of War three looked fucking awesome. Oh, there were numerous times where the cutscene ended, and I'm just sitting there like an idiot, waiting it for waiting for it to be over. And Kratos is just standing there like, "Let's go!" And I'm like, "Oh, I have to play again." <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, their their trailers are always really good, and it's supposed to be a prequel to the before he gets the loses blaze of his, chaos, loses his uh, before I'm family, angry, right? or is it like in between it? I'm thinking that either that will end the game. Where he kills his wife and his daughter, or that's going to happen. Like, r- I think right around the halfway point, you're going to get the blades chaos, and then right around the end of the game is when you're going to accidentally kill your family and then be pissed off at everyone else because you killed your own family. Oops, so um, you're, you're predicting less screaming. E- I'm, I think it's still going to be the angry dude, um, but I think it's, it might be a, a little bit of a different side of Kratos because um, he's a really angry guy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. we'll see what happens. It's also a dick. He is family. a dick. Yeah. We, I don't talk about it much because we just started this podcast like what three three months ago, and there has been no God of War news. But I'm a huge, huge, huge God oh, of I, War fan. I love God of War. They're one of my favorite IPs that Sony has. I've, I've been a big fan there since PS2. And oh, it's the reason I bought a PS3. Mm-hmm. Like I, I knew it was going to come out eventually. 
they, you know, the PS, one of the PSP ones came out, and they're like, God of War 3 is coming for the PS3, and I'm like, well, shut up and take my money. <laughs> yeah, when this, when I, when I first saw them, the whispering, I got all excited, then they finally confirmed it, my nipples got hard, it was, it was good oh, yeah. stuff, it was crazy yeah, all it was around. fantastic, and I, maybe game, uh, I don't, it's too early for gameplay, but it should be, going by their cycle, it should be out March. Yeah, they'll release early of, next year, which yeah. is smart, and that's one of the reasons that's Probably the best selling Sony IP. God of War, One I think, kills. Easily. Yeah, God, God of War goes crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They um, always release in March. Cause, yeah, because they're not dumb and they don't release in the Call of Duty area. No. Um, no. They're, they're just like the only game that comes out in March. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like, oh, Call of Duty. Here's God of War God is of War. one of the highest attach rates for the PlayStation. No, uh, easily. Yeah. yeah. As we still sell it. And yeah. now you can buy the entire series on the PS3, which is just awesome. Yeah, all five games. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I have them all. Even though I own both of them for. PS2, and I had them for. I, no, yeah. I only had, I only owned one on the PSP, but I ended up getting the the Origin collection because yeah, so. yeah, and they look. I mean, they yeah, they're dated for a PS2 PSP game. game. It looks really good. Well, even the PS2 games, God yeah. of War one, you know, it, what eh, I, but two what, still looks really good. What I didn't like is why they didn't HD the cutscenes. Yeah, I yeah, don't. It looks. I, so, I hated that. It because. looks so weird going from like. A newer looking, clean looking game. Yeah, to <laughs> and then seeing those like ten year old cutscenes where you're just like, like oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess that saved a lot of work, but yeah, it still was a obvious thing that they did. It, it, I do like one of the things that I always like about that series is watching the cutscenes get closer and closer to the gameplay, mm-hmm. and then you get to three where it's so seamless. It almost you're just yeah. like. Am I playing? I don't understand when the game's supposed to start. Oh, oh, Zeus is kicking my ass. Oh, I gotta go. Those are the two closest games I can think of. And uh, actually, Halo does a pretty good job of it yeah. as well. But the other ones I was thinking is Uncharted. Yeah, Uncharted is and, great. And, uh, and uh, God of War. Yeah. Those are the two best that it almost looks as good as the cutscene in the gameplay, yeah. which is really rare. Uh, it's so. impressive, too. All right, let's hop into another really big IP that I think they will focus on. And that's going to be the Little Big Planet Karting. That looks fun. Yeah. I hope um, I can use my all the DLC I've already purchased. Um, this I, it's the guys that make the Mod Nation Racers. Series. It's it's a Media Molecule and uh, the guys who do Mod Nation. It's a yeah. co-op. I mean, there's only so much we could talk about with this. It's a karting game. I think they'll, I think they'll spend a few minutes on it. They'll put a fun little trailer out. I yeah. think this is gonna be one of those things that they're gonna show a trailer and just kind of be like, yeah, here's your date, and then they'll kind of move on because there's not much to say and talk about and show off. No. It's a cart game. People will buy it. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Uh, I think they're. I think they're kind of leaving Mod Nation behind after this. It didn't do all that. It no, did all right. Yeah. So yeah. well, I, Mod Nation doesn't have those like sellable characters. They don't have. Sack I like its story. It yeah. was a cool like little cart you know series yeah. thing. Um, one of the big guys I think that's coming out this year that I think they will spend some time about is the going to be the um, Sony Smash Brothers, aka All Stars Battle Royale, uh, aka the worst video game title of all time. Yeah. Um, what I think they're going to focus on, they'll show some gameplay, even though some's already leaked. What I think the majority of that thing's going to be is they're going to announce more characters. Yeah, they have to. That's it's- that's what I think is going to really be like the big reveals. Like here's some of the guys we got, and you already know them. You're getting Cole McGrath. You're getting fucking probably Snake. You're getting Nathan Drake. Yeah, you're getting um, Kratos. Yeah, you're getting yeah, you're going to get all those sweet. Who who did they announce already? They announced Sweet Tooth, Fat Princess, um, the dude from Killzone who nobody infamous. really remembers his name. Infamous. Cole McGrath's not in it yet. Uh, the- uh they were mo capping it already, but I, I reported that like a while back. Yeah, but it's not confirmed. Not confirmed, but it could it could easily be a infamous for the Vita or infamous three. True, but yeah, yeah, I doubt it. Oh, I know, I know too. It's it's for fucking infamous three might be announced. I think there's gonna be. I I was gonna get to this later. I think it's I think it's gonna be for the Vita. Not. I don't think it's gonna be infamous three. I think it's gonna be a spinoff for the Vita. Personally, yeah. I think infamous three is gonna wait for the PS4, but we'll see. I didn't mean to skip ahead. Yeah, no, no problem. All right, um, Battle Royals. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Eh. Anything else? You guys? Nobody gives a shit. It'll be this fun. Game looks fun. It'll be it'll be cool, but you know, you'll always have that one friend who's that guy who's obscenely good at the game, and just wrecks your face, and then you get tired of playing him. That's that's the way those games always end up for me. <laughs> it'll be fun to to fuck with for a little bit. Um, I'll play it in the interactive, yeah. most likely. Um, but yeah, it's like eh, it'll be cool. Um, I'm also hearing a lot of whispers that a new Killzone something. Ooh. We don't know if it's for the Vita. We don't Killzone know. Something. We don't know if it's Killzone Four, which is what I'm hoping for. Yeah. We don't know. Killzone's good. Uh, I like the Killzones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's good stuff. So 
but I'm hearing that those guys are something. Something is coming at E3. Huh. So uh, it might just be like a teaser, because especially if it's Killzone 4, I doubt they're going to be like, coming this holiday. I yeah, think it'll just no. be one of those 30 seconds, like, they'll just so, show amazing graphics like the Killzones are famous for. Oh, yeah. It'll be like 20 seconds of whatever, some random snow or rain. A couple bullets, sh- and then just boom, Killzone 4 comes on the screen, and everybody claps, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if it's for the Vita, because Killzone Liberation didn't do awful. I like that and game. And that was, it was pretty fun. That's a lot a of fun. top-down shooter. Yeah, and now they got the second analog stick, so they could yeah. definitely make a lot better. I wouldn't doubt it's for the Vita, but I think something from the Killzone universe yeah. will be coming. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, the other, this is like almost confirmed, but they're being very secretive about it. And that's the the Quantum Dream, the guys who made Heavy Rain. Yes. Have something to show at E3. Oh, yeah, the, um, the robot thing. There's a video online of it. I don't know. Um, I don't know enough about it. I just know that there, there's something, and they're going to show it off. Yeah, they're, it's this little, like, I think it's like a third or four minute video of a cyborg with a human face. And it, like, talks, and it has emotion. It's crazy. iRobot-esque? Um, Terminator? Better. I'll have to look it up eventually. If I find it, I'll post it on the on the Fast Books. On the Fast Books, but I did. I didn't watch the video, but I did see it, and I was just like, "It's like from the makers of Heavy Rain." I'm like, "I love Heavy Rain," and I didn't watch the whole thing, but it looked really crazy. Yeah. So I'll have to. I'll have to pull it up. Well, whatever it is, I'm here. Yeah, I'm, I heard they got a little spot there. Yeah. So they'll probably show oh, their show. Awesome. Off. I loved Heavy Rain. Um, I also heard the new Sly Cooper. They yeah. Have a little spot. Thieves the in thieves time. In time, yeah. I'm still. I still want their uh, BHD remake or whatever from the. Uh, Been out for a while. I don't ha- no, the I'm trilogy. Just, oh yeah. I'm just saying. I want it. Like, yeah. I, I, you should yeah. be able to pick it up pretty cheap. I, know. I want to own it. Yeah. Um, they haven't gotten it though. And uh, the the one that I think is going to steal the show is Naughty Dogs: The Last of Us. Last of Us. That's the thing I think Sony's going to leave on. Probably. That's that's their because they they have no. That's their biggest thing this year, I think. Yeah. Yeah, those, gonna, I think they're that's really like, that's new really, IP that they're going to be pushing pretty hard, and they're really, really, really going to showcase it. I think it's going to get like a two or three minute trailer, really big, really beautiful. It's fucking naughty, dog. It's, yeah. it's going to be awesome. Mm. Yeah, they um, know they're going to sell. I, was yeah, hoping- I think that's going to steal the show. I think that's what Sony's going to exit on. I think that's going to be like their the one that everybody whispers at yeah. about when they leave Sony's press conference. So. Um, but I don't think they're going to spend. That, that's why I say I think this whole thing might take. What have you, 30, 40 minutes? Yeah, I'm totally wasted. Because uh, I think they're going to spend more time on the Vita. Vita, 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 Vita. Yeah, Vita. They, they, I know they want to push it hard just because it's, you know, I mean, it sold pretty well in February. It was 600,000 units, but, you know, they still want more. They want to sell 10 million units this year. This year oh, when they sold uh, not even 2 million the first uh, almost six months. Yeah. Make yeah. fifty bucks, I'll sell ten million in a year. <laughs> well, Plus, you know that was it hasn't been six months for the Vita yet. It's mm-hmm. been. Yeah. Let's. Uh, what are they at now? Like maybe three. I can't remember. It came out at the beginning of the year, right? Uh, February. Yeah, it was February twentieth. So yeah, like first four months almost at this point. Um. So yeah, I mean that's that that's an outrageous number that's they're never gonna sell. But I think it's it. It needs a price cut first. That's what the first thing. Do we think it's getting a price drop? It needs it. I wouldn't be surprised. I think it gets. If there, there's absolutely no way they're even coming close to that number if they don't drop price. I yeah. do not think there's going to be a price drop yet. Unless they release like a Monster Hunter or it comes with some type of sexual gratification device. Yeah, <laughs> that's Ooh. an add-on. Here, here's here's Maybe why they'll announce a not Monster Hunter. Here's E3. why. Um, this is their first big E3 with it on the market. Not an E3. They wouldn't do a Monster Hunter E3. It doesn't we don't care about E3 uh, Monster Hunter here as much as the no, way the cool way TV, the, the way for Tokyo Game Show. Tokyo, yeah, Tokyo Game, Game Show. Show. They will probably do that. Um, well, I think that it's uh, not going to have a price drop because this is their first big E3 with it actually on the market. They're going to try once. They can announce a price drop any old time. You don't need E3 to do a price drop. No. Plus, how the fuck would they compensate? You saw what Nintendo had to go through with their ambassador program. Yeah. You can't burn the United like you can't burn us that bought one four months ago full retail already. Well, that's what Nintendo did the same exact thing though, and I don't. They had that ambassador program, and they get like what the hell would so like there's there's more there's more yeah. to there's more to it. Sony just took a big hit with that PSN outage that's when they had to give all the the shit away for that. I really don't think they're, they the get- price drops coming. I just don't think it's an E three. 
Yeah. I think this is their last big push because they're going to be they're going to be showcasing so many games for the Vita hmm. that they're going to hope that that's enough to get out there and and move some units. And when that kind of works but doesn't fully work to get to the 10 million, I think you're looking at an October, November, some somewhere before Christmas, I think yeah. that's when the price drops right because then it's been on the market for almost a year and you didn't burn the early adapters as badly. No. And you and and you're pushing a lot more consoles come Christmas cuz it's like then it's in everybody's grasp if it's 180 or 170 or something along yeah. those lines going into the holiday season. Especially with no other I mean uh, the Wii U but nah. I mean they haven't even had a Christmas yet. No, they have not. With the Vita on sale in the states. I don't I just yeah. don't see a price drop coming yet. I don't. I could be wrong. That. I could be I think a lot of people want it and a lot of people are I think a lot fat. of people have been waiting for it. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. I want one. I so. might get a free one, though. Yeah. Um, Horrors. What's, hey, what's not my fault that Sony likes to give me free stuff. Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah. Um, so what do you guys think? I know they're, they're going to have... What do you guys think are some of the IPs that they're going to announce for Vita? I think this is going to be the main focus of their show. Um, I told you, I think they're going to spend 20, 30 minutes on the IPs for the PS3. Yeah. And I think they're going to spend a full hour on the Vita. Mm. IPs for the Vita. I know they already... There's whispers of a Call of Duty coming out. Um, I already mentioned there may be a Killzone game, uh, Assassin's Creed spinoff. I know they're really, I know yeah. Sony's really close to Ubisoft. They they did one for the um, the, the, PSP. the PSP. I just bought it for my Vita the other yeah. day because uh, Ubisoft's having a sale on the PlayStation Network right oh, now. Okay. I picked it up for seven dollars. Well, they're also having up? a sale on it's Steam. The PSP Assassin's Creed for my Vita for oh. like seven bucks. They're also having a sale on Steam this weekend too. The Ubisofts. Mm, horror. Yeah. Yeah. They're on sale everywhere. Yeah, you be sore, soft, horny. Oh, maybe sores. Maybe yeah. I'll get my whole Assassin's Creed collection this weekend. Fifty bucks, whole series. I was really? gonna trying yeah. to think of what I, was really I'll like probably end up what doing spinoffs that. did really good on the PSP. I mean, there was always like you know the Kingdom Hearts ones did good, the Final Fantasy Planet. ones did good. Little, the well, Little Big Planet's coming. It's just it decides to delay itself a hundred times. Um, the, the, yeah, sorry, go ahead. I'm just thinking. The the really big thing I think is going to happen um, is. A full on push of PS1 classics. <sighs> yeah. And the start of PS2 ports. Because the Vita can run PS2 would, games. Yeah, it is. It's a bit more powerful yeah. than the PS2 was. Yeah. Um, the PS1 games, they're, they're like, it's lame that they're not all. It, this should have been something available at launch. The yeah. entire PS1 collection should easily, easily be able to be handled by the Vita. And it should oh, yeah. all be out there. Ready to go already? I, there's a lot of games I'd go buy. I'd go get the old Castlevanias. I'd get the Gran Turismo one and two. I'd, I'd, I'd off the bat, I'd buy about ten PS one games. Oh yeah, there's there's quite a few that I would pick. Well, up. I'd buy both Odd Worlds. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I could easily name there's, ten games. There's quite a few that I would immediately just smash on my Vita. Yeah, just like throw your wallet at your yeah. PlayStation. Like here, take it, take it, take the money. So I think that's gonna be because I know they're starting to do that. They're starting See. to integrate. Yeah, yeah. some um, of the. <laughs> <laughs> They're starting to grade some of the uh, the PS1 games on the the uh, Vita, but it's not to the extent that we'd like it yet. Yeah, I would. I mean, I know this is never going to happen, but I would still like a way to port or get a credit for the PSP games that I still own. Because I would love to, like, oh, you know, I have all the Final Fantasy games, including the three PSP ones that they did, because they redid one and two, and they redid four, and I would love to have those. Like on, I know they're doing Final Fantasy X, but I'd love to have those on the Vita too. Just you know, throw them on a memory card. You know, even if I have to send them in and they just send me back a code, like here, this is what you need to input. Um, I'd be happy with that because I at least still have my games. What I think they should do is make a little thirty dollar device that's half the size of a cell phone that holds a UMD that you plug into your PS3, and it like links it to your account that hey, they own the UMD for this game. And now you plug your Vita in and you just zap the game over. Or yeah, so- but something people, something like that. Yeah, the people that work at GameStop will just be checking out PSP games. Piracy to, would be yeah. crazy. Yeah. Fine, I didn't think of it to that extent. Maybe um, you have to, like... It, this is, like, going back to something I've been saying for years. Like, I would like a UMD adapter. Plugs into the PS3. I could play my PSP games on my TV. That'd be cool. That'd maybe be so, cool. maybe something like... Or maybe... Okay, fine. Maybe not something that plugs into the thing, because then you could just get them off the store. Fine. How's about... A little half thing that would... It's not that big if you really picture a UMD. Oh, no, it's... They'd have to make it super, super sleek, but it can almost strap onto the back of the Vita. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Because think of really how thin it is. As long as you don't make it obnoxiously big. Yeah. I think at this point, the tech could just be like slightly larger than the UMD anyway. And then it proves you own the game because you would need the game in the in the tray to prove you owned it. So that would cut down on piracy. And you wouldn't have to rebuy all your fucking PSP games for your Vita. It would just automatically work. Yeah, I wouldn't mind spending 30, 40 bucks on something like that. Yeah. If I could play the couple, like, I only own, like, three or four games, but I'd still, like, I'd oh, still I own like a shit. I own a shitload. Yeah. I've been slowly buying them for $10, $15 each digitally, even though I already own them on my fucking PSP. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons why I don't get rid of my PSP yet, is that there's only a couple, but there's still those few games that are yeah. PSP only. I'm on my fourth PSP, and they're all broken, so... But I've had two. But it's all because it's all my own stupidity. It's water damage and whatnot. Oh, it's right. not like... It's not like the hardware fails. It's me we, being an idiot. Do you need a class on how to take care of your video game systems? No, my my consoles are ridiculously good condition. My my handhelds. Oh well, my handhelds. Not so much. My handhelds are all still perfect. Okay. Um. Then again, I only play them in my bed, so if they fall, they fall on cushy things. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So as Joe was saying earlier, you think a new IP will be announced? I do. But it's going to flop. I do. What do you think they're going to do with it? I don't know. Nothing. I just I I think we're gonna get a new Sony IP, Sony exclusive, and then it's gonna look really really cool, and then it's gonna be really really shitty, kind of like Brink. I totally, sing. I totally forgot. Dust five one four. Dust five fourteen. Five fourteen. Five one four. Five fourteen. That game looks fucking awesome. I don't know what that is. It's a FPS. Oh. Didn't get that announced it's a, it's, at it's last from, E3? Yeah, but I forgot to bring it up during the the games that are coming out to the PS3 exclusives. No, yeah, whatever. Yeah, horror. It looks really cool. Oh, was that the oh. one? Okay, okay. I, I didn't hear about that. Futuristic it, shooter. It looks good. Where what you do in the game affects the EVE Online multiplayer stuff. Pass by. It changes like who controls worlds and that kind of crap. It's supposed to be an FPS MMO. MMO, MMO, MMO. Yeah, I, I heard about it, but since I didn't play EVE Online, I kind of gave zero fucks. I was like, I don't play EVE Online, I don't care. Oh, fucks up. Next. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for Last Guardian to come back, because I want that game. I think there's going to be a heavy push on that whole transferring bullshit, which nobody cares about. Oh, um, everybody's giving me blank stares. No, I know so, exactly oh, what you're talking yeah. about. I just yeah. don't care. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. Apparently, no one gives a fuck. It, it, unless you give me the like what what Steam did when they when it was Portal Two on PS3 and you got the free Steam copy. Oh yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me. Even if you discount it, like say say somebody picks up the show Thirteen on the PS3. Oh, even, okay. even like unless about. it's free for my Vita, I don't see myself spending sixty bucks on the PS3 game. Then say it's forty on Vita, but since you buy them together, they give you ten bucks off. I don't see myself spending 90 bucks on the same game that's only good for one year just so I could play it on my Vita and my PS3. Yeah, It that's just doesn't work like that. Stupid. Maybe for 10 extra dollars just to pay for the... But if I'm already buying it, like, fuck off. Have the package deal put together already. Yeah. For the people that want... I, I just... I don't know. It's, it's not for me. I don't see myself spending money on the same game twice just so I can have it in my pocket and have it not look as good as it does on the PS3 anyway. Yeah, I mean, the the, the ability is cool, the fact that you can do it, yeah. but they should they should give you, like, a voucher. Yeah. They're like, here, now you bought this, you can download it on the Vita, and if you have, I think you have to have PlayStation Plus to even do it, you can cloud your data and resume your season on your Vita if you want to. Yeah. Yeah, make yeah. it an option. Don't make it, like, oh, here, spend $100. Now you can do this cool thing. Oh, BT Dubs, you also have to give us $50 a year or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's, PS Plus is. It's fucking insane. It's just, it's a little too much. Uh, some of the cool, some, some they, they just need their own games. They gotta stop with this, hey, it's available on two. Yeah. I don't want, a P, I like the power of it, but I don't want PS3 games. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. It, just make them different. They, like, Bioshock Infinite's coming out, which is uh, gonna be great. Yes. Then they're, 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 they're making a Bioshock Vita only game. Yes. Which is great. I don't, I didn't want in Bioshock Infinite in my pocket. I have that for my PS3. This is great. You're taking that IP and making me another... Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I I'm want okay another that. game in my pocket. Let's Same thing what they're doing with the Assassin's Creed spinoff. Great. I didn't want Assassin's Creed 3 in my pocket. No. I wanted yeah. Assassin's Creed what have you, whatever you're making for the Vita, something completely different. That's yeah. what I want to play in my just, Vita. Just like the God of Wars. They're side stories. They're spinoffs. They, you can ignore them if you want to, but if you have the system, hey, it's a fun game to play. Exactly. 
Yeah. I don't want God of War Ascension on my... Yeah. yeah. It's perfect. Perfectly if set. If they did something like a... I don't know. Has baseball ever had one of those games where everyone's like ripped and crazy and you just smash the ball into like the stratosphere type of games like NFL Blitz or Mutant League Football? Yeah. That um, fuck, I forgot what it's called. Super Slugfest fucking... Oh, the sl- that's right. The Slugfest games. Yeah. If, they, if it was something like that, like it was baseball, but it was kind of like goofy baseball. Yeah. Because I don't want to sit and spend, like, not that I'd play it, but I don't want to sit and spend, you know, 16 hours a day and like, all right, I got to trade my players today. Yeah. And it's like, no, do that on your system. Don't do that on your Vita. That's yeah. not what the Vita's for. That'd be, see, that'd be another interesting thing, too, is if they, if that was the kind of transferring you'd get, where you link your PS3 and your Vita, and you don't have to actually, so say with the show. Okay, you buy the show and you could play that at home, but you plug your Vita and you link it, and when you're on the go, you can screw around with your roster. See that would where be you don't cool. have to buy the second game, where you can do that managerial yeah. and trading, and it's not a full game that you have to buy because your PS3 and your Vita talk and know that you own the game. So you could do that side stuff that without cool. your TV and console on, or even like run those like the simulated games, like yeah, like oh, I don't want to play you know Detroit six times simulate games and just let it go. Yeah. That wouldn't be bad. I that, could I could see that for like sports games and stuff. Yeah, that there there could be interesting almost like what the VMU was on, on the Dreamcast. Oh, that yeah, little yeah. side stuff. So Yeah. That could be cool. Um, and they could work that into other games too. Like yeah. uh, games with like resource like you know, say Mass Effect three for or not three because you don't do it in three, but like in Mass Effect two you could do the the stupid mining. Like I, you could, you know, you're bored. You just do it on your Vita for like 20 yeah. minutes, and then it would port back over to your regular version of the game. And like, oh, you have nine thousand more things of Element Zero or whatever. Well, they do a Mass Effect three with the iPads too and the oh, iOS. Yeah, but I don't have an iOS. You mean either? I need something that I can play but with. For the galactic readiness, you could do that. Just yeah, mm-hmm. that that game that you could play. If they yeah. put it on Android, I'd do it. But no. I also think on the Vita, there's going to be a big, big, big push for new apps. Yeah. I want a new interface. Me too. I don't even own a Vita. I want a cross media bar. <laughs> I want a cross media bar. I love cross media bar. Cross media bar to me says Sony. <laughs> it's just like, I want a new fa- it was the greatest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know YouTube got confirmed. Uh, it's supposed to be a treasure park, which I'm scared is PlayStation Home on the fucking Vita. Oh, no. Uh, wake Ew. Up Club. I don't even know what the hell that is. Paint Park. These are already like. I will not use any of that ever. Nobody uses any of that. No. Like, there's the welcome app. There's the... You check it out once, and then you probably won't go back. Like, what's what this? This is stupid. stupid. On it? What? The, the stu- there was, like, a welcome park. There's, like, the one, two, three fucking... I don't even remember. How- Nobody uses them. One, two, ever. three ABCs. And- yeah. Or it teaches you how to talk. It's crazy. Yeah, I know how to talk. Not very good at it, but I know how to yeah. do it. I um, talk very well. Good for you. <laughs> I also think <laughs> remote... This is getting wrecked. Sorry. No, they're not. There's, I think there's going to be a big push for oh, remote, for remote play as well, but that's kind of stupid because oh, yeah. you don't have clickable buttons and you're also missing two triggers, so you're missing basically four commands. Yeah. So, yeah. The triggers. And why why would you why do you want to use a two hundred and fifty dollar controller if you're at home? You have your sixty dollar controller that you don't have to worry about, and it has four more controls. Yeah, it, it's a cool concept. Like if you you know say you have that one friend who only does mobile platforms and like. Hey, dude, come over and play video games. Ew, that guy? I don't invite yeah, him I, over. I well, the, the You're thi- not allowed in my house, mobile yeah. gamer. The thing with it is, that, like they were showing, Fuck is exactly you. what I was trying to say earlier with the VMU. Like, if you're playing Madden, yeah. you can like pick your plays on the touch screen. Yes. That, but but you're missing you're missing four controls. You're missing yeah. both clickable buttons. And they buttons, won't know what play you're, you're miss- actually picking. Yeah. Well, I was thinking more for like like the Wipeout. Like the PS or the Vita version of Wipeout was completely compatible with the PS3 version of Wipeout, and you could race each other. Yeah. Like you have that one idiot friend who just only has a Vita because they apparently hate all other fun, uh, forms of fun, and they still want to come over and play video games with you. And it's like, well, I only have one controller, but you have a Vita, and we both have this game. Like for yeah, for Madden, you're missing input commands, and you can't. It's not fair. Yeah. To the the person who's using the Vita, it's like, oh well. You know, you like the clicking of the thumbsticks, and you like your secondary triggers. Ha! No, soccer. You have a Vita, so soccer. Suck it. Yeah, but I'm sure there's other ways to implement them. It's just different with the touch screen. You could just have a little button over yeah, here that you could just that'll act as your R2, uh, L2, and, and, and your fucking yeah, different sides of the screen. Yeah, yeah, shit like that. I'm sure there's ways to get around it. It yeah. just you know, it's more of a pain in the ass. But whatever. Having the buttons to begin with. Yeah. 
So, um, I think that's kind of the Vita, yeah? Um, the other thing that I think they're going to do, which is a waste of time, is the moves last... Uh, the big, the big, like push the hey, let's try, let's yeah. try this one more time. Next gen is either gonna go all out with motion gaming or it's gonna leave it behind, and I really hope it's the latter. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. It needs uninterested. To go far away. Don't give a shit. Um, and it, it it flopped. I don't care. I don't want to. I controller. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sony still. Oh, is... Sony, come out with a 360 controller that I can use on your system. Then I'll <laughs> buy you, and a new interface. Then I'll buy you. They have off-brand ones to do that. Ooh, yeah, the cross sexy. media bar are actually like better than. I don't like it. I like the cross media. bar. Yeah, but you haven't seen it. In a while. Oh no, you still. Yeah, okay. As no. nice. Yeah, there's also no fucking screen. advertisements, Mark, and Mark. it's easier to get to stuff, and it's only a couple. Key- I don't care oh, about I, the ads. I ignore them. I hate that Xbox change. I know why they changed their dashboard eight billion times a year, but I hate every time I finally get used to the new one. <laughs> they, they change, change it. it, and it's like I don't know where. I was trying to play Trials, and I'm like. I downloaded it. Oh, Where trials. in the hell did it go? Where's my and half it's like, owner right oh, now? Oh, it's like games, and then I had to scroll all the way to the end because it's Shannon, the last thing I downloaded. Stop! Stop talking about trials. Mark's getting a little chubby. Right now. Oh, it's great. Fucking love the it's shit the out of that one game. I downloaded. Red Links. I'm so glad you got bought. You're a well deserved <laughs> studio. I actually like the cross media bar. I, I do too. Way, way, way better than yeah. Microsoft. My only Surface. problem with it is it just it's that everything's right there. Well, no, it's, it's easily like, accessible. No, it's e- no, no, easy that's to all see. true. I hate all these like, things too. <laughs> it's just it's not pretty to look at for me. Like I, I like it. In you need visual aesthetics. That's you, yeah, that's why you do your fancy custom background. So yeah. you have something pretty. I have all. My, I have. I have Nathan Drake sitting in my background. He's really pretty to look at. Yeah, my that's how I get my so gay. Jokes. Yeah. I really well, do. I have an Uncharted three. You are paper. so gay. Yeah, I think mine's. A I mean, the three sixty actually kind of that. Okay. Three sixty interface definitely needs an overhaul because it's too freaking slow right now. But. um... Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll bitch about, I want something in we'll between. We'll bitch about Xbox and, and Xboxes. <laughs> so I think they're going to push a little bit more move stuff because uh, they they got stockpiles of this shit in yeah. Sony warehouses that they can't sell. So I think they're going to push Sorcery, which is coming out yeah, right. Sorcery stuff like one. that. Yeah. They'll, 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 the Sorcery, the game, they went back on the word saying that the move isn't a failure. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think they're going to do a lot more, uh, hey, it's going to be, you know... Better with move, and Sorcery's we're going to we're going to tack it onto this game, and tack it onto this game, and then we're going to make a, a steering wheel for a little big part planet karting that you could stick your your move wand in, and then you could blah 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 and blah blah blah. And I think there's going to be this last push for move. Nobody's going to care. Everybody's going to fall asleep. They might get laughed at, like when they said that AT and T was yeah. the carrier for the Vita. Oh yeah, the <laughs> um, groan from the audience. That's awesome. Like, it's just like oh, AT and T. Ouch. Are you kidding me? Um. Well, they don't know any better. They're yeah, in, they're, they're in whatever. Japan. Yeah, um, they should like do their research. If well, they, it's not a good coverage, but yeah. honestly, if they wanted to sell the move right off the bat, all they needed to do was talk to Warner Brothers and get them on board with a Harry Potter game that played like Sorcery does, because that thing would push the hell. Because that would be fun to play. Yeah, like, I, I start, that would be cool. I started getting into a little tirade about this last week. I just. They had to stop tacking it on. To, Microsoft has to learn from this too. Oh yeah, stop, stop tacking it, it on to games oh. that work better with the controller because you're not. That's not going to help you push. The people that were buying Killzone Three and Resistance Three were not going to go out and buy a move. No, they weren't buying it for its motion capabilities. They were buying it because they played the previous titles in that series. Yeah, they liked it with a controller. Plus, yeah. there's shooters which work better with controllers. Yes, not move fucking peripherals. Yes, you have to make an IP that's going to sell the actual peripheral, not something that you tack on to. Everybody's going to play the controller anyway. Yeah. And the only way you're going to and you're screwing yourself in the beginning because, like I said, there's no attach rate. Like, no, there's no reason to buy that thing. Nobody's going to make that game. It's counterproductive. It's they work against each other because nobody's going to buy the game for the the controllers, and nobody's going to develop a game that uses those controllers. Because only one, like twenty percent of people own them in the first place. Why well, yeah. I'm saying this terribly, I know what I'm trying to say. I'm yeah, explaining it. I mean, I have a full set of them, but that's because I went to some Sony training, and they're like, "Here, here's two hundred and fifty dollars of Sony products. The move is part of it, so deal with it." And I'm like, "Okay." It's free, so okay. I guess. So you have a move. I do have a move. I was looking to borrow one from somebody so I could play Desmond's Quest. Yeah, I can And then totally get rid of it. Yeah, you can bum it. It's fine. It's still sealed in the packaging. I have not opened it ever. (laughs) (laughs) 
And I, the worst part is, oh. I also have the sharpshooter because I paid like ten dollars for it. Yeah, because it was like, oh, it's no. I'm just a big. Sorry. I'm a big medieval fan. Or yeah, mid, from uh, the the older ones on the the PSP and yeah, the, they're uh, they're fun PS games. One. Oh, I love that. Yeah, with uh, uh, Sir Sir Francis Fortescue or, or Sir Dan Dan Fortescue. That's his name. Yeah. Funny stuff. It's good games. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's just it sits there in a drawer with my Tekken joystick. Yeah, because that's. Where it belongs. I want to go get that Mortal Kombat fight um, stick. They're, the PS3 ones are down to 80 bucks. I know. And we have two of them. Do I, it. But I want the tournament one that's still 150 <sighs> I know. It's the same joystick. I know. It's just got a different skin on it. It also, the tournament one opens. You can oh. see the inside. It's pretty. I'm sorry. It's not as fancy as the one you want. Yeah. Benchy schmenchy. Okay, okay True let's, story. let's go into some long shots. <laughs> Long shots. Last Guardian coming back. Okay. I want it so bad. Right Shadow of the Crosses and Ico were amazing. Long yeah. shots. Mm-hmm. Binding of Isaac coming to the PS3s. That might happen. Uh, the studio got it for a computer. Man, I bought it, but it works better maybe. on consoles. You even play it with a controller. Don't even try to fight this one. Horror. Huh? Horror. What? Horror. <laughs> I already have it on computer. I'm not going to spend more money on it. It's and besides, like, yes, if will. Binding of Isaac comes out on PS3, it's going to be fifteen fucking dollars, and it's five, and it's on, five on, yeah. on computer. Five on Steam. I know. Show up and take their money. Yep. Um, what do, what do you get? What do you guys think about um, Air 37 coming to PlayStation? <laughs> not going to. Not going to happen. No. Because no. we already have uh, Dungeon Hunter. It, I, I don't. Where'd my flash drive go? I um. After playing the Diablos, um, I don't think that'd be that hard of a stretch for the consoles to no, run that. I thought it was a keys, but I thought it was a way more in depth. Like, no, it's not like there's a lot of keys. You can easily run that from a controller. Yeah, you could. You yeah. could just the uh, face buttons be your four moves. The trigger should be your right click, totally left click, and then instead. um, trigger, 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 just trigger, trigger, your right trigger, stick could be your trigger, mouse. Trigger, 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 yeah, trigger, well, your one would be move. The other one, the only the only weird one would be. Selecting the NPC, like clicking. To no, talk you'd you'd them. hold bumper or bu- or sorry, L one. Yeah, I guess R1. you could just tap it when you. Because that's what they did. In, that's what they did in Dragon Age. You hold left bumper yeah. or L one. Blizzard makes so many console games. Yeah, rolls eyes. I mean, they it's not happening. Just, well, but they since they're partnered with Activision now, it could happen. Not no, happening. Not happening. One hundred percent not we're happening. Talking about long shots. Dicks. <laughs> stuff that will probably never happen. Yeah, it would be cool. I mean, it would be interesting to see. They wouldn't be able to do the randomly um, spawning dungeons like they do in the PC version because the consoles wouldn't be able to handle it. Um, True they story. would have to t- put in some type of offline mode. Like you, there would have to be an offline version of it. This would piss um, me off, though. Like I would be pissed if Diablo does come to consoles because Blizzard is one of the last great uh, PC developers. This is true, and I don't want them to change that because consoles consoles are lazy. Diablo One though was on uh, what PS One? No. I think uh, no one was alive was, when that came out. There was the Blizzard did do a Diablo on the consoles. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and I, like your great 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 grandfather was playing yeah. it. Yeah. Dude, I was alive then. No, you weren't. Shut up. Because I'm ancient. 1996. So you weren't alive. Yeah, I was. <laughs> you weren't alive. I was like what? 14? You sh- you shut up. <laughs> I was 14 you in 1996. Up. Yeah. And yeah, I guess the game to PlayStation. Yeah, but something. then they realized that we shouldn't do it this. Was, it was like a half so Blizzard thing. has dabbled. Yeah, they have, they dumped, have they've dabbled. They have From ninety six, the people I guarantee you, there's like two people working there that might have actually worked on the game. I'm just saying their twig and berries have been dunked in the council pool. No. Yeah. It, no. I mean it was a half assed version they tea-bagged, of Diablo. They teabagged the council Yeah. Yeah, it was it was a half assed version of Diablo, but yeah, it's so you didn't still care. They're like, doable. no, PC better. Yeah. Um anyway. anybody think they're announcing the PS four? Nope. No, not yet. It's a long shot. It's a long, uh, shot, yeah, it's a long shot. That's what we're talking. Long yeah. shots. They I might know. just. They might have been putting out all that false. No, we're not doing it just to fuck over well, Microsoft. Here, yeah. Here, here's the thing. They they've come out publicly and said they want to beat Microsoft to the next gen. That's true. They've come out and said that official press conference from Sony that they do not want to be the last one out of the gate because it's already obvious that yeah. Nintendo's first out of the gate and they don't want to be the last one of the party this generation. No. I'm pretty damn sure Microsoft's announcing their console next E3. Probably. One, one year and one yeah. month from now. Announcing. So if Sony waits for that, then they're launching at the same time period. So, yeah, it's a long shot, but they're you know Sony could be sneaky, sneaky. 
very very sneaky very, very sneaky sneaky yeah. and they come they out and they're could. just like oh guess what bam ps4 they could in stores tomorrow sega style yeah and no one buys it <laughs> yeah nobody would get it <laughs> yeah no no one um, um here's my 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 long shot uncharted 4 <laughs> naughty dog do it they're doing less. They're not us. listening. No, didn't they split up no, into two different na- companies? No, na- Naughty Dog got yeah. so big they split up into two they companies. Into they're two companies, they're yeah. doing the the they're doing the Infinity Ward uh, Treyarch, Treyarch esque yeah. thing where know. um the these because these guys broke off after Uncharted two, so half the crew made Uncharted three and half of them have been working on The Last of Us okay. for three fucking years. So th- the guys that pumped out Uncharted two <laughs> have been doing nothing since Uncharted two released last year till. Now they you could mean, they Uncharted three. Shut up! Yes. <laughs> you don't keep uh, two. <laughs> yeah, three. Um, they've been nothing, doing nothing. So um, maybe they've been working or, on the fours. No, they're, they're writing big plot devices, or they're writing big um, scenes so that they can write plot around the scenes. Yeah, that's how they make Uncharted. Hey, so hey. ass backwards. <laughs> hey. It is ass. It's a cool game, but they make they write this story in such an ass backwards manner. Like it makes me angry. whatever it works. It does work. I'm not it. saying it doesn't work. It's just like, it's weird. Um, yeah, probably. There. Uncharted Four wouldn't be a surprise. Maybe, um, maybe you need to play as Fat and Drake. That'd be fun. I hope. I hope they wait till the PS4. I don't. I don't think I want it on this console because the the jump from two to three was not enough to. Yeah, it was not as big as the jump from one to two. The problem was Uncharted Two was was uh, on a scale of one to ten. Uncharted Two was like a, a thirty seven. <laughs> and then and then Uncharted Three was like. You know, thirty-seven a, a, and a half, a twelve or a thirteen. It was still an amazing game. It just wasn't Uncharted Two. Uh, yeah, but, you're not Uncharted Two. You know, I, I, yeah, your mom's Uncharted your, your Two. Your face is Uncharted Two. Oh, and they're opening. Oh man, what's that? Anybody else got any w- wishes? Any? Uh, come on, do it, Sony. Um, I know the fanboys would say uh, the the remake of Final Fantasy Seven. I would be hoping for a remake of Final Fantasy Six, though, in the glorious HDs. Gran Turismo Six. Yeah, that will come out for the PS5, though. I don't think so. I think that's coming out for the PS3. I think he's right. I wouldn't be surprised. It was be- just since it five, look, just, just five just look, years. Just look, at the, just look at their track record. On PS1, they had one and two. Yeah, and then PS2, three and, two, three and four. Yeah. PS3, five, six. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. I was just joking that it took forever for five years. Yeah, to joke. Forever. Come Take out. a joke. Jesus. Yeah. Horror. You're the one that I know. That's why I blame that on you. <laughs> I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> yeah. Slap the shit out of him. Yeah. I will. Yeah. 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 Who am I agreeing to at this Ooh. point? Well, his face is red. <sighs> yep. Uh, what else? I would like um, a hardcore Spyro game again, not a cutesy fartsy. Not gonna happen. Spyro. Not gonna happen. No, they've already There's announced more. The, Spy- the Skylanders Giants, which is coming out this yeah. fall. Skylanders is gonna sell better than Skylanders will. I mean, the, would sell better than a regular <laughs> Spyro yeah. game will at this point um, because of the action figures. I would stupid and all the secondary purchases. I'm also hoping that the next and probably last for the PS3 uh, Ratchet & Clank gets announced. Because the, the HD collection is coming, and HD collections typically are... Eh, maybe not. But they, they kind of, sh- like, get you pumped. Yeah, and they did get do... Or maybe even a new Jack and Daxter would be a lot of fun, but Naughty Dog's too... Maybe that's what Naughty Dog's been up to. Maybe. Instead of Uncharted uh... 4... Another Jack and Daxter? Maybe. Oh, that'd be awesome. Because a new Jack did. and Daxter? Or a, a remake? They do, they, oh, they already did they the already, remake. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they did do... They did four Ratchet and Clanks on the PS2. The three story ones and then and Deadlock then was kind of just there. And they had... Yeah. And then, Deadlocked was good. I like Deadlocked. Deadlocked was good, but yeah. it wasn't as... It wasn't like the other ones. No. And now, in this generation, they have... Future Tools of Destruction. A Crack in Time... The all for one is just kind of there. Yeah, so I'm still because usually Ratchet and Clanks are like Uncharted. So I get through them in like two or three days, so yeah. I can't put them down. All for one, I'm playing, but it's just it's not story enough where I care. Yeah. It wouldn't be surprised if they did do a, a third story one, yeah. just to kind of keep the three and three. I don't know. That'd I could use fun. a new Ratchet, like a real Ratchet and Clank, yeah. not all for one, which was fine. I have no problem with it. It's a good game. I want a real. I want Clank on my back. I want to float from, you know, with him, his Obs- helicopter coming out. Yeah. Yeah, obscene weapons that yeah. do just the most ridiculous things. Where's he put them yeah. all? I don't get it. Yeah. yeah. Up his. Yeah. Lombax pole. <laughs> <laughs> and more Captain Cork. We yes. definitely need him. That's ridiculous. Um, 
besides that, I don't know. You guys got anything you want to add, or you just want to hop into some final thoughts? I, I think that's everything, right? We hit the move, we hit the veto, we hit the PS3. Yeah, that's probably. Um, I, mean, I don't see them anything else. You went with like long shots. I also. Oh, you guys think there's gonna be a push for 3D anymore? Nope. I think is they're kinda, done. Is that kind of dying out? Hope I it's think. Dead. Th- I think. They're I like done. my 3D. Hope it's it's dead. cool if you spent less than a hundred dollars on the monitor, like most of us did. Yeah. I think Mikey was fifty bucks. I spent thirty three on mine. Mine was all trade in. Yeah, you bought, yours was you all bought a monitor for thirty three dollars. Yeah, I had enough trade ins that I spent thirty three dollars on the um, the monitor. So in that case, it's worth it. I mean, it's perfect for my desk. It it's you know it's good for that price. I used it once to play Shadow of the Colossus, and it was amazing. Um, I need to try Gears with that, but I've been procrastinating. Oh, it's so awesome. Um, but yeah, I just it's even in the movies, it's not going anywhere like oh it's in 3d no one gives a crap yeah i think they're done with it it's gonna go back where it came from in the 1980s back to that hole that it lives in it's that same the whole motion gaming in the 3d world they kind of oh, go yeah. together they keep trying to re-implement it every five or six years and it's just kind of like doesn't work leave it alone they like they, everybody said oh the wii the wii was so innovative and, ah, i kind of remember know. i kind of remember doing that with duck hunt I kind of remember. It was a simple one or two button thing that you just kind of pointed at the screen and it didn't work perfectly. It was always off by a few inches. Yeah. Very similar to the Wiimote. I I say (laughs) if you want motion gaming, if you want to hold a big fake plastic gun in your hand, go to an arcade. Yeah. And they also that's where motion gaming belongs. Yeah. And they also you remember um, they had all this this dance central and all that crap. It's really not that new and revolutionary either. No, remember true. track and field from the NES? Oh, I love that with game. that stupid rollout thing that Dude, plugged that into the broke. So- yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. But I'm just saying, none of this right. is like no, it's, it's just rehashed shit that's slightly more technologically advanced than it was in the 80s when yeah. we were kids. They, this they, stuff is not new. They had Rob the Robot. They had a uh, the power what was, glove. What was that little guy? Um, the gyromite guy. Oh, I don't remember. Is that Rob the Robot? Is that what well, I'm there talking was about? The, yeah, yeah, that, that was Rob the Robot. Then there was also the Virtual Boy. Yeah, and that thing was awful. Which was akin to the the whole 3D thing. Yeah, it, you made, know, your, it sh- made your eyes burn. It's yeah, great. much like the 3DS. Yeah. Um, they, <laughs> they just, I don't know, they just, it's the same old crap over and over and over. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it the controllerless needs- controllering is not that new either yeah, with I the Connect. I mean, like I said, that that stupid pad power glove or or um, yeah. Dance Dance Revolution. Yeah, you're not using a controller. You're no. stepping on buttons, but it's like a floor. Yeah, they, you didn't know the buttons were there. Yeah, they, this is something it keeps. I don't remember the first Dance Dance Revolution for what the PS One or the Dreamcast. I think had one, and I was like, "Cool, this is dumb." Yeah, it was dumb then. Mm-hmm. It's dumb now. Nintendo, stop it. Microsoft, you're not helping. At least Sony's kind of been the only one that was like, yeah, ours failed miserably. You know what? I wish Sony never came out with one. I would have respected them so much more if they were like, you know what? Like, that was their chance to show that they were for the core. Yeah. Because Microsoft and Sony were always fighting over the core because Nintendo had the family, the the kids, yeah, the, the blah, blah, blah. Stuff. And it was kind of like, who's more for the core? And and people leaned more toward Microsoft for the FPS and more toward Sony for the story. Yeah. And that and as soon as the Kinect got announced, Microsoft, Sony should have just left it alone. They knew that it was already in the decline. They didn't make any money. It was a waste of... And you don't be like, you know what? You have your stupid motion gaming, Microsoft. We're for the core now. Yeah, I've always been of the, the mind that... I work retail. I am on my feet for seven to eight hours a day. The last thing I want to go home and do is... dance around in front of TV like an idiot. Yes, exactly. I want to sit my fat ass down on my computer chair. I want to prop my feet up on my desk. And I want to turn on a system and use a controller. I agree. Because I'm lazy. And that's what I do. Or crawl around in dungeons. Yeah. Yes. But still, I mean, still, I'm sitting on my ass. I'm, you know... You can't see this because obviously you're not here. Stop talking but with your hands. I, it, I'm sorry. <laughs> she does it. Do that. It's all but right. you know, I even I'm so lazy that in Diablo I keep on a button to move. So I just rest my hand on the side of my keyboard and put my thumb on A and then click the hell out of that mouse. <laughs> I'm that lazy. I didn't even want to click to move. It's like nope, A is now move. Hot button it. Yep. yep. I hot keyed that. You need out a of foot it. pedal. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what I want for Diablo. <laughs> Nice. I want a foot pedal, so I just put my Run. foot down to move. <laughs> Stop. Run. That's a lot of work, though. I'm like, give a calf workout. That's too much work. Whatever. That's still be fun, though. I'd still do it. Uh, moving. I would never stop moving, then. Just my guy would. Circles. 
Just keep running. Yeah, but at that running. point, you could just make like a little footrest and mount the button. and. That's true. Yeah. I did come up with an extremely ingenious system when my stepbrother bought Time Crisis for the PS1, where I would put the second controller on the floor and then step on it with my foot instead of actually <laughs> having to do it on the... I'm talking with my hands again. <laughs> <laughs> can't help it. Shut up. Don't judge the me. The PS2 was smart enough where the gun worked off screen, I think. Because uh, I have that. You had to put these... Weird it no longer little, works on my flat screen. It, so you had to put it. these weird little sensors on the side of your screen, and then like the flat screens, I think, were too wide for them. The gun I had... Oh, because the gun I had when I had my tube TV worked fine. You just shot off screen and it reloaded. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I remember. The little games were fun. I like Time Crisis. Yeah, Time Crisis is good stuff. Beat it in like an hour. That's from Namco, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, they they made some killer arcade games. Them and Sega, and now all all arcade games are essentially giant PS3s that Solo actually have topic. PS3s inside them. Oh yeah, like yeah. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, or uh, all of the ones at Galloping Ghost that were the newer things. It was all PS3s yeah. striped inside, and it was awesome. Yeah, good stuff. I wonder why they went PS3? Huh? I wonder why they went PS3. This is more powerful. It's they're they're actually built the same way in Japan. Like a lot of the newer arcade machines that they build in Japan, because arcades are still big there, mm-hmm. is they they run off PS3s. Huh? Because it's easier. Most um, arcades are actually just a computer hooked yeah. up to buttons. Yeah. It's really easy. Yeah. I used to work on. It. No, we know. Yeah. No. Well, that's pretty much all I had to do. Unless you guys want to do some final thoughts. That's all I really got on. So, did I miss anything? That was everything, right? 3D, motion, Vita, Vita, New PS3, PS4 possibly coming out. I would love for that to we post would like the to come out. specs in E3 this year. Yeah. Like, of the systems. What they're working with. Oh, I don't even think they're announcing them. Nothing. I don't, well, think, I, I don't think they're going to even talk them either. Like, I'm just, like, I've been looking at them for a while, comparing systems right now. Yeah, I don't even think they're going to hint at it. Yeah, that sucks. It would be nice if they don't have those port problems anymore. The thing the thing is, I honest to God, I think the 720 and the PS4 are going to mirror one another. Yeah. All it's going to be is a controller and exclusives. Well, right now, as of this April, the 360 is going to be running off dual graphics cards, while the PS4 is going to have one, uh, a better card, but only one. Uh, the 720 is supposed to have a 16-core processor, while PS4 is doing a quad-core, and then basically, other than that, it's virtually identical. Um, with that, um, I think the 720, with these current specs I'm looking at, 720 is a little bit more powerful. Um, but um, we'll see, because these yeah, seem to change every shit, few yeah. weeks anyway. Yeah. That'll be interesting to see. Yeah. Just, That's all I think is going to differentiate yeah. them, is controllers, the n- online network, and exclusives. I, I, it, the line is getting more and more blurred. When oh, we were is. kids, the like the oh, it was like were, Genesis for Super Nintendo oh, were yeah. worlds apart, you know. And it's just getting more and more blended as yeah. time goes you on. You didn't have the as many of the clock. You maybe had like three cross platform games mm-hmm. versus now, where it's like ninety percent of the stuff that comes out is cross platform. I just hope that they don't like. This is always the dumbest argument, but don't change the controller. They work. Leave them the same. I don't want to relearn buttons. It was, it was weird enough playing an Xbox for the first time, so, and you're like, the analog stick's in the wrong spot. I don't understand. Sony will leave theirs alone. For the most part, they'll leave theirs alone. They, they should both pretty much Sony Sony will off. make small additions. I mean, if you look from the PS1 to the PS2 to the PS3, it's virtually the same. It's, it's like minor things, the way they triggers stick. pull uh, the button. Yeah. Uh, the original PS1 actually didn't have the analogs. Nope. It was just a D-pad with yeah. the... But, I mean, it's just small additions, the rumble, the uh, the DualShock, the, the uh, six-axis, six stuff like that. Yeah. But, I mean, it's virtually the same... On all three, the controller is the same shape. Yeah, it was yeah. that that has never changed. Yeah, Xbox. I think they nailed it with the 360. The the, oh, the original yeah. Xbox is a mess. I th- I say I agree. I say they leave them alone. Yeah, don't change um, them. Just make them keep them the same. The one thing I would like Sony to do on the back of their controller is put like like how Xbox has that extra piece of plastic where if it's laying down and you pause it or what have you, and oh. when you sit down, the triggers won't move. Yeah, um, there's a little trigger. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to I, say. I know what you're know talking what you about. You're talking about where the battery pack is? It, no, it, under under the triggers, there's actually an oh, extra piece of thing. Yes, look, yes, yes, see, yes, on yes. PlayStation, see, when, you hit the if triggers you don't have these things down. on here, you yeah. can sit on it, and these will go like this. Yes, this I know. This okay. that, yeah, I'm yeah, it lays flat. talking to you like you can see what I'm pointing at. Yeah. Um, um, but <laughs> if you have those controllers, you probably... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. about yeah, those so. little trigger extensions for the PS3, though, help a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. 
Um, I like those little suckers. But besides that, I think I think Sony's had a tried and true. Me- I know Joe hates it, but I think it's a tried and true method. I like it. I like the PS3 controllers. I just, I, it's for me. I don't have a controller preference. It's all the. De- it depends on what I'm playing. I will say first person shooters feel a little weird on the PS3 controller, just because I'm so used to the Halos and all that on Xbox, and I'm just so accustomed to the way they play on Xbox mm-hmm. now. It's like, oh. FPS on so oh this is a little weird. My problem I'll is their sticks. It. Like that's that's the biggest reason I don't like the oh I like the 360 over the PS3 you like one. The is concave as opposed to the convex. Yes. Yes. Or, well, yeah. like yeah. I it's guess, but just the way they feel, like PS3 controllers generally are looser, um, and a little bit. I mean, they have, I think they have a wider range, like left to right. They do. Um, but um, I think that's why it throws me off possibly because I don't use them every day. But for the most part, I just like the overall feel of the 360 controller in my hand. Other than I play with them both so much, it's like it's all second nature. I don't even point, think about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like what, why I'm struggling so much on the PC right now, and you guys are all like, ah, "You're those. such an idiot," you know? And I, was, I, I don't get it yet. I've never said that. Almost. Oh, I know you're thinking it. <laughs> no, I just keep saying like it's the shit you're having yeah. problems with is shit that me and Mark just know because we've been on PCs for so and long. That's why I don't think like I know when you guys have certain complaints about the PS3, I don't even think about it because yeah. I've been. Dude, playing shooter, PlayStation right? so goddamn long, all of them, PS1, PS2, I evolved with it. It's just, it doesn't, I don't even think about it. No, it doesn't you know even I mean? matter anymore. It's like, oh, it's a controller. I know what buttons do what. Let's do this. The one thing, I'd like Xbox to relax their buttons a little bit. The uh, A, B, X, I actually like those better on Sony. They're a little too, um, the feel of them. Yeah. I like Sony's better. The the four actual buttons, triangle, square, circle, yeah, yeah, yeah. X versus A, B, X, Y. Just, uh, I don't know. I like what, the, like how hard they are to press down. Just, I, I don't know what it is. I don't even know. It, something about it. I actually, if I could mash the 360 and the PS3 controller, I think you could make a super controller. Yeah, I like the. I think the triggers are better on the 360 controller. Um, the triggers I'm, are definitely better. yeah, because the ones on the PS3 are so mushy, um, and I really like. I mean, Joseph has his covered up, so you, it's not like anyone can see it anyway. But the since they are the concave and they have those four little nubs on like the the older 360 controllers that kind of like don't let your thumb slip off yeah i don't know why but i love those things the nubs yeah the nubs that get worn off before you take them out of the package see i don't have that problem <laughs> mine always are fucking gone like, yeah after a week i'm really like i'm really particular with my controllers though and I've, I mean, my Halo one that I had, like one of the Halo three legend uh, special edition ones, I had that thing forever, and the nubs were still good on it. Yeah. I don't go crazy with my controllers though. Like a lot of times, I'll use the side, or you know, I'll kind of dig my thumb into the yeah, middle and I'm, twist I'm, it around. I'm a controller thrower. Oh, I'm not. So um, and I love my controllers too much yeah. to throw them. Yeah, that's the kind of shit I do. Stop throwing Joe just, Joe just threw his and dropped yeah. it. But anyway, um, let's get some final thoughts on the PS3. Get the fuck out of here, yeah. Um, What's going on? Well, I'm. I hope. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. I'm fucking jumping out like huh? a bastard. No, I'm saying sluts. Sluts. Anyway, All the sluts. Fi- final th- final thoughts. Um, it's gonna be more software than hardware. Yeah. I'd have to say. I mean, oh, they yeah. really don't have any hardware to announce since they announced the whole crap load of it last year, and hopefully some good stuff. I mean, I have always liked Sony's press conferences. Um, they're usually pretty fun to watch, and they don't go touting the Connect like crazy people. Yeah. Stupid Microsoft. Stupid Connect. Anyway, Mark, cool. uh, you know, I've been reading up on hardware so much last like um, hour and such, so I've been just kind of. I'm more interested in the hardware. You know, software it's cool. It's out for, you know, it's cool for like six months basically. I'm just, I really want to hear more about hardware in my, but you know, I'm probably not gonna get that this year. So, you know, E3 is a little bit disappointing for me this year, I suppose. Me, really? Joe, anything to contribute, sir? I want a new system. <laughs> uh, for me, uh, like like you said, I think it's going to be an awful lot of software. I, my personal opinion, um, if Nintendo didn't have a new console, Sony would blow everybody out of the wall. I still think they're going to win. Uh, they yeah. just have too much. You, we listed their huge oh, assort, gigantic. and and we'll, we'll we'll go way in depth with Nintendo and Microsoft over the next two weeks. But I mean, Microsoft has like Halo. What Halo the fuck years. are they going to talk about for two two hours? Um, Connect. We'll get to all that. Connect yeah. For two hours. yeah, that's all they do. do. And I think Sony's just got such a wide array. I think they'll touch on Move for ten or fifteen minutes and they'll let it go. They'll touch on three D gaming for ten minutes to let it go. They have no hardware to announce. Um, and then the software, they're just they're gonna 
briefly touch about uh, their their big things, and they're going to push the the Vita a lot. I think a lot of it's going to be the Vita pushing. Um, I don't think the price drops coming yet, like I said, but it could be. Could be wrong on that, but I think it's coming for the holiday season because that'll give enough time if it's been out, like I said, eight months. Yeah. That nobody can bitch too much about a price drop. Yeah. And then I also think the PS3 is getting a price drop, and I have not mentioned that yet. Just- That's the only hardware. It's not oh, official. It's, no, no, no. Yeah, that was individual retailers dropping the price. Yeah, that was, was not a, official Sony price drop. It was a drop. limited sale yeah. that we were doing where it was 200 with Batman or something yeah. else. I'm talking about from Sony. Like Sony. a legit, like, it is now one ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, for the for the 120 Because that'll contend it, because then Microsoft's almost forced to, because Microsoft sells theirs yeah. for 200 and that's only a 4 gig. And Sony's smallest is 120 Sixty hundred, yes, it's now one sixty. Yeah, so I mean, you know, and that would almost force Microsoft to knock some money off theirs as well. Yeah, Sony. I, I think both of them are getting because they're on their last leg. Both these consoles are. They're they're getting done. The technology is now starting to eclipse what we have. Yeah, and yeah, like the system's gonna be at least like, I mean, the minimal they're gonna put in there is probably two gigs, which you know, both systems running off like five twelve megabytes. So you know, yeah. I don't even really know how they're gonna use that. I mean, just reading up sixteen cores like. 360s, if it ever has a, or the 720, if it ever has a frame rate drops, to be incredible. And same thing with PS4, they have the 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 new AMD core that's supposed to work like with its process with the the graphics card to ensure that it's just like super fucking fast. Yeah, and it's gonna be sweet. Yep. It's gonna be pretty. Mark on. Oh, that's pretty much all I got. Anybody else have anything to? No. No. Everybody, nobody eh. cares. Yeah, go Sony. Um, yeah. Video yeah. games. Yeah, video games. Oh, uh, this has been... Oh, before... Sorry, before that. Uh, next week uh, and the following week, we'll get to Nintendo and Microsoft, respectively. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Tune, tune in for those. Uh, we'll cover those. And then we got our post E3 coming up, too. Get psyched, people. This is our Christmas coming up. Yeah. <laughs> All it right. Uh, this has been episode 15. Uh, please tune in next week. Same time, same place. Goodbye. Bye, Bye. people.